Okay, I'm gonna let Wolfgang attempt to throw me up at it. Ooh. Uh, I'll just All right, so I'm gonna do the cheerleader thing happened. where I put my hands together and one, two, three. Welcome back. Uh, this is episode three of Seeking Vivian. Uh, welcome back and welcome along for the first time, Heather or Vivian. Um, you can, you, join us. can you introduce your character for us? Please? Um, I think you could do a better job at that. Tell me who Vivian is. Um, she's Wolfgang's sister, right? That's how that works. And um, I got abducted and I have no body. Okay. Lovely. Um, right. Uh, you took a long rest at the bottom of the staircase um, leading up to floor two. Yes? James, okay, uh, do you want to introduce Nazim? Ah, yes. Um, so one of our players has decided that perhaps playing a basic fighter might get slightly boring if we're going to play for 56 weeks. Um, so he is now a... <laughs> Nazim is now a halfling rogue. Um, because of this, Kalefi has dropped his one level of rogue. So we now have Kalefi as a full wizard, Nazim as a full rogue, Luna Chimmerfield as a full bard of the Glamour College, uh, Wolfgang as a barbarian and a path of the totem. I don't know what that is, but he's got it. Uh, William is a warlock, and Vivian is a cleric, those of you who are catching up. Um, just while I'm at it, if you haven't already, you can see the previous episodes at the YouTube, which is in the chat. So, to recap, um, our party with Hadfar um, are currently uh, recuperating from a long rest um, and rising. Um, they are just at the bottom of the stairs leading up to the second floor of our tower. Hmm. So, I had an awful night's sleep. Sleep? Sleep? You actually had a chance to sleep in this time? Oh yeah, I've slept on worse beds. I'm impressed. You had a bed? Well, people I use as beds. That's what that was. I thought it was a kitty cat curled up on me. <laughs> That's what they all think. I'm a soft little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. That's how we're beginning, is it? Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Setting the tone. <laughs> Wait, let me. If I reach down, I can scratch Josh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, wait a minute. It is fair to say at this point, uh, Wolfgang, the necklace you are wearing is glowing hot. Not too hot <gasps> to touch, but it is very warm. I rub it like a genie. How does that feel, Vivian? <laughs> You're being robbed. Not good. Stop. Oh. Stop. Vivian? Bad touch. Is that Bad you? Touch. I can almost hear your voice, Vivian. Oh, James. Yeah. Uh, slight problem. Yeah. I still have Catherine and Brazic on the D and D Beyond sidebar, and Jarawir and Scorm and Lorenzo and Delderich. I can do that very quickly. Um, so wait, can I interact with these people at this? You point? can speak. You just can't hit them. But I can heal them? Yeah, you can cast yeah. spells and talk. You are just uh, not physically present. Got it. You are a little bit ethereal. A little bit ghostly. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> well, sounds about left, really. If, you, if anybody wants to, they can refresh at this point, and they will now find the configuration on the screen to be correct for the characters in play. Uh, Nazim is on page two. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, you are rested. <coughs> you are at the bottom of the staircase, where the bottom five steps are missing. You would find it a 12 to 15 foot directly upwards jump to get yourself on the banister. Uh, so, I am going to decline to jump. I have a very cool thing. Okay, well, before we go anywhere, who the fuck was that? That was that some was powerful magic. Video. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know who that was, and I don't want to know who that was. Well, I feel like if we're going to proceed, we're going to know who that was. I don't know who he was. I don't care who he is. He's going to be a was by the time I'm done with him, because he has my sister. Well, I'm avoiding this guy, because he is scary. Put simply. Well, yeah, just a little bit. Also, what was that big bang before? I do not want to know. 
Well, if we go back up, we're kind of going to find out, aren't we? No, we just don't go anywhere near that room. Fuck we that don't... room. Do we know it was from that room? Well, yeah, it came from there. It was, it was in the Did room. It? I don't know. Not because it I, was I, definitely it, from that room. I was too busy running away. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I just really feel like he can just do what he wants in this whole dungeon, you know? He wasn't there at first. Well, he was, he was speaking busy to with us. something. He was busy with something, so it's very likely he's just going to go back to what he was doing rather than being, you know, murder hobo enough to chase us down. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to rest here. He would have came down and killed us. So, Unless as long as we just crazy. avoid his room entirely, we might, you know, okay. But would he have stayed in the room? I think he just said he about us. I think he probably ran away in fear of us. Um... <laughs> Sure, we'll go with that. Listen, we'll Wolfgang, we'll and I like I I woke up to and I put a hand on his shoulder. And I'm like, Shaw, do you believe that? I do with all my heart. Oh well, then I tried. Uh, I just I think you just didn't I, care about us. If I hadn't been stolen out of that room, he'd be dead by now. Negative. You would be dead, sir. Yeah, we would have all been dead. Not me, I don't have a body to die. Well, then it's all right for you, isn't it? Oh, no, you're already dead, sister. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be ghosts. Ghost life is the best life. Living an absolute <laughs> life of luxury. How much I envy you. No. You get to be carried around. I get to be carried around as it is. <laughs> oh, you can be carried around, Kalefi. I'll take you to the part of town where you can be carried around. If we ever make it back to town. As long as I can ride on an ogre's back and well, it's not the only thing scream ride, wildly into the air while sloshing ale, then... Oh, sure. I know the perfect place for you for that kind of thing. What, the, the, the fighting just... arena? <laughs> oh, no, a different kind of arena. Different kind of fighting. <laughs> Advar turns to the group. Has anybody got a strong arm? You can get this, uh, this rope here. Loop to the top of the staircase. Maybe, uh, maybe we can all head up. Strong arm. No need. No need. Uh, <coughs> just pass one end of the rope over here. I'll um, I'll handle this. It's the rope of climbing. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just proceed to walk up the side of the wall. Always one walking up sides of the wall. Spider climb. Slippers of spider climbing. Okay. <laughs> Slip. <laughs> Love it. So yeah. I just walk up the wall and walk up. <laughs> Walk up to where this um, top of the stairs is and just uh, tie this thing on. Uh, so the rope of climbing, if you hold on to it, will <coughs> you upwards. I walk well, over to cool. the rope and grab hold of it and go up. Go. I'm gonna jump again. I had this. <laughs> okay, I'm not jumping down again for you. <laughs> You're going for the leap, are you? Oh yeah. Okay, make an athletic. Fucking no. <sighs> okay. Okay. Why are you like twenty-one? You make it very, very gracefully leaps over the chasm, lands neatly on his feet. Um, Luna and Azim. Uh, no, I'm oh, gonna I take the rope. You're taking the rope. <laughs> See, friends, it's easy. You just have to Ooh. believe in yourselves, and you can achieve. I'm oh, no. eleven. I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna climb up the rope. I reach my hand out to catch Luna as she jumps to me. I... Find Too early in the, the morning for that kind of optimism. Advar gracefully reels in the rope after <coughs> taking it himself. Uh, you all find yourself at the beginning of the uh, upper floor. <coughs> William chokes to death. You okay his, over there, William? Staircase. <coughs> <coughs> it's really dusty in it. <coughs> <laughs> really dusty. William, I don't think that's where you're supposed to put the rope. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, you are returned to the top of the staircase. You find yourself beginning of. So, uh, yeah, you guys remember that room with the like. So I guess forward we go. There's been a lot of those. Straight forward. Yeah, to the two doors. <clears throat> they they must be rooms. Oh, the yeah, two doors we haven't opened. Yeah, just um, do you guys remember that the fact that there was that door which fucking blasted one of us in the face when we tried to open it? Um, I do. 
<coughs> Maybe I should try to open this door. You okay. got some trick up your sleeve? Yeah, I'll have a mage hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> we could have Nazim look for traps again, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good idea. He's pretty okay. good at that. Okay, I'm going to spend uh, the next ten minutes looking for traps around the current two doors we're standing up. <coughs> okay, make an investigation check, please. Check the left door first. Yes, the right. Uh, I check the left door um, first. Thirteen. Okay, the left a door question. appears to be a very flimsy wooden door. Question, Luna. If I use dancing lights to illuminate over the door, would that give him advantage are, on this check? You are perfectly well lit right now. Uh, okay. You Never mind examine then. the left-hand door, and it is a very flimsy wooden door. Uh, it appears not to be locked nor trapped. Would you like okay, to roll an investigation check for the right? Okay, the right-hand door is a 70. Um, you discover a poison dart trap over the handle of the right-hand door. <coughs> um, and something magical seems to be emanating from it, but it's beyond your expertise. It is clearly magic, not physical in <coughs> manifestation. Um, I open the left-hand door. Okay. Uh, door swings nice and open. Um, it is deserted. In the center of the room is a black orb glowing and pulsing upon a pedestal. Uh, I walk over to the orb. Sorry, just bear with me a second. Um, as, you, uh, as you look into the room on your right and left-hand side are two long tables with abandoned old alchemist tools. Um, and on the wall at the back is a large painting um, depicting a mountainous area um, with an eagle soaring downwards. Okay, I walk straight to the pedestal where the orb is. Um, and uh, can I try and like sense the kind of if it's magical, if so, what kind of magic? Are you trying to touch it? No. No. In that case, can I have an arcana check? I've watched Lord of the Rings to know better than to do that. We have a cooler Lord thing than what? arcana checks. Lord of the Rings. Arcana check, please. I look down on my hands and see no rings on them. 18. Uh -oh. 18, okay. Um, who opened the door uh, to the to room 6, no. if you like? That was you, William, was it not? William, I, I opened believe. one of them. And you were blasted by black magic. You are very aware that the magic emanating from the orb seems to be uh, very similar to the magic <coughs> that blasted you um, with your okay. hand. Um, as far as you're aware, the orb is not... Uh, it's, it's not trying to hurt anything. It is maintaining a spell. It is maintaining Murder. a spell. Uh, uh, hmm. Can I cast Identify on it? You can try. This is a very expensive tiefling. Okay. okay. Identify on it. Okay. That was a really nice waste of a gem. You've just attempted to identify something that is currently casting a spell. Um, It is... As far as you're aware, it is, uh, it, from your arcane knowledge, you're aware that it is something magical, but, uh, your identifier doesn't tell you anything. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I should know what spell is affecting it. Um, it is, as I said, it, you can tell that it is very correlated to the black magic that blasted you at the door, um, or blasted William at the door, was um, it's fair to say you're pretty aware that it, it is <clears throat> the source of that was this orb. We could try knocking it off the pedestal with something. Sounds like a terrible idea. Well, what do you suggest? There's another room we can look at first, if you so desire. Well, we need to take care of that trap, though. What trap? The, the trap on the right door, the poison dart. Yeah. Oh, there's a poison oh, dart that's and, the first I've heard about a uh, trapped door. No, Nazim detected poison dart on the handle and also something magical emanating from the door that he was un he didn't have the expertise to understand. Okay. Okay. To remind you, there's also a painting on the back wall, and on either side is some old alchemist tools. So, mm. this trap on a door, you say? Hmm. Did the other door's trap go away after it was activated, or is it still there? You haven't activated it because you haven't opened the door or touched it. No, the one on to door room six. Uh, it, it activated was, it when was I active. 
<clears throat> um, it activated, but it appeared to still be active afterwards. <clears throat> okay. Um, can I? Well, not can I? Um, <laughs> I will <laughs> walk over to the alchemy table and see if I can see what's there. Okay. Um, right or left? Um, I'll go right. Okay. There are some broken beakers. Um, there is an old sort of a uh, um filtration system. So there's a series of beakers going down. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a mortar and pestle. Um, some very sort of dried out old herbs. Um, and a small hammer. Um, sort of, um, with a pick on the end. Okay. Uh, oddly specific. <laughs> it looks like it might have been for crushing nuts, perhaps. I walk up shelf. to the hammer and I want to pick it up. Sure. Oh no. <laughs> I tap on the table and go, Order in the court! With the with the blunt end, I assume. Uh, probably, maybe, I don't know. Knowing me, it's probably the side of it. It echoes ominously, but otherwise nothing else. <clears throat> I, I, I raise my hand and say, OBJECTION! <laughs> Overruled! <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> You're out of order. This whole courtroom's out of order. I'd like to um, look around and see if there's any nuts on the table. Nope. Uh, just some dried out herbs. There's still all the right hand uh, table. For it. Yeah. I walk over to the left hand table and rummage about and do the same. Okay. There is a series of what looks like hard shells, almost like eggs, but more rockish in texture. Um, some of them have been broken in half, um, and as you as you look at the two halves, there's sort of a cavity either side. Um, it, it looks like it could be holding a stone in the center, um, or possibly a nut. Um, and it appears that this is what this uh, these have been broken open for to extract whatever's in. Okay, are there ones that haven't been broken open? There are a couple. Okay, cool. Um, I I pick one up. Yep. And I uh, throw it to Wolfgang, and I say, "Hey, do you want to open this nut?" Uh, yeah. I set it on the table. I hold it between my fingers, and I smack it. Um, the egg cracks open. Um, but it is clearly incredibly old. Um, and whatever you were looking for is now a very, very shriveled, yellow-colored, um, almost a bit like a walnut, but right close in. It clearly was larger originally, but it's shriveled over time. I smell it. Okay, um, then I... It smells I... musty, um, sort of a bit like mold. Okay, then I scoop Yum. up all the others and throw them all simultaneously <laughs> and say, Try these! Well, I ate uh... the first one, so how'd that go? Sorry? Well, we don't know. I ate the first one. You ate it? Oh, ate it? No. Make a constitution it. save, oh, please. No. <laughs> Sam dies. Oh, no. <laughs> I would like to cast Spare the Dying. <laughs> I would like to cast a 19 constitution save. Hey, you feel a bit ill. About it, a bit nauseous. You're a little unimpressed. It tasted like off egg. Mm. Well, it is. Off egg. William, there's something wrong with these nuts. Well, don't eat them. Just crack them open. What else do you do with nuts? Well, I don't put <laughs> random nuts in my mouth. <laughs> I Let's know. Know what was in your mouth. No, no, no. It's only you very need to buy me a beer first. <sighs> I crack the rest of the nuts open and resist the urge to eat them. Stop putting the nuts in your mouth, please. Every single one you open is, is the same. It is now a shriveled, small yellow stone. But other than that, is a uh, nothing you'd recognize. Sort of, it, it could be a nut of some sort. It could uh, also be sort of a hardened egg yolk. Okay, while everybody's investigating this room, mm -hmm. I'm going to continue along the corridor, yeah. uh, checking for any sort of traps along the way. Uh, are you headed up and round? I'm right? heading uh, north and then east. Okay, uh, hold me one second. And I think on seeing this, <coughs> I like the idea of um, tailing Nazim and just keeping watch, making sure there's nothing terrible happening. Okay, Nazim, as you pass this corridor, um, you, <coughs> you can see to your left that it, where there was previously a door, there is now just a gaping hole with a black void behind it. Um, would you like to oh. continue forwards or investigate? 
I'd like to go back and tell my friends about the new discovery. <clears throat> Alright, so everybody, the door that was barred with black magic or had black smoke no, coming no, out no. the bottom of the door yeah, that one. Uh, is no longer a door and is in fact just a portal to what looks to be some sort of void. Oh? No. Uh, I don't know I what with an arm full of egg yolks. Why do you have so many nuts in your hand? Why not? Cause they, Time to explain, they, they, okay? They when they went to my stomach and I don't know what else to do with them. <laughs> Have you ever thought about putting them on the table you're next to? Okay, what do you suggest we do? Okay, sorry, where where was the where was the black portal? What this, room? Uh, Just to the confirm. Door with the smoke coming out of it. This was the door where you fought the black sorcerer. So, I'm, room one. I'm going to walk over to this portal. Going over to the chasm. Right? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Okay. We should just never tell Wolfgang. Can somebody <laughs> please command Wolfgang? And what uh, would you like to do with it, Wolfgang? I take one of my nuts <laughs> and I... Into the portal. As you <laughs> as it reaches the doorway, it is sucked violently away um, into mm. the ether. I do it again. The same thing, huh? <laughs> One more time, just to be sure. He's got a lot of those. He'll be there for a while. The same thing, huh? Does it make a cool noise? You hear there's nothing. <laughs> oh, there's a sort of yeah, there's a sort of airy sucking noise as it goes away. You know. I go back to the room and collect the rest of my nuts. <laughs> oh, mm, I'm gonna okay. be here for a while. We'll leave. We'll leave Hulk gang nuts throwing. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll I'll for the that. rest of you. Um. Also, just to confirm, Nazim, you found no traps leading up to the uh, animal. I would actually like to continue the path around then, while I, uh, while everybody's talking about nuts in the room. As you reach approximately here, would you kindly make? Um, you could make, uh, see, how do you, what, what check is it for using your tools? Can you use your actual tools for a check? Or, no, just make Which a dex check, just make it Steve's tools. Um, yeah, that's a, probably slate of hand. Or, okay, make it, no, yeah. they're their own check that's based off of dexterity. Okay, yep, so that's absolutely fine. So that's a 16 and you have proficiency in them, so, uh, you are able to disable a floor, uh, floor pressure pad. Um, that clearly caused a gout of flame. Uh, would you like Is to anybody to... following me or am I alone here? Right. You're alone. Right now you are very alone. Okay. Would you okay. like to continue? Um, can I wait for my... I'm going to shout back through the corridor. Yep. Because I'm assuming the corridor's not too long. 20 foot. Well, okay, well I can shout yeah. Okay, uh, is anybody going to come with me? I've just disabled one trap on the floor. Are you sure you should be making that much noise considering, you know, the room we're right next to? But yeah, I'll come with you. Do you have any ideas and thoughts of how to get into that room? Because for all we know, this could be a secret passage into the room. Um, I do not want to go anywhere near that room. That room is death, and I will say no thank you. Wolfgang, are you still Did throwing you... nuts? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, suddenly, a black void that you were seeing just sort of pulls in on itself and disappears. And what you are now <coughs> looking at is a sheer drop um, down to the bottom of the tower. It is as if the whole huh. room has just been removed from existence, and the door is just a drop. Oh. Those poor little skeleton. Hey, guys. What have you done, Wolfgang? I'm gonna run up to him and say, Yes, Wolfgang? What's happening? Guys, I broke oh, the no. room. What, is, what is going on here? Broke <laughs> the room. I think these nuts are magical what? and they make rooms disappear. I don't <laughs> think that's correct. I'm just gonna sit there scratching my head right now. Wolfgang, I don't think thinking is your strong suit. I can't even spell uh, thinking, so probably not. Uh, it's a hard word. My head hurts. I had I I have this axe because it's the only thing I knew how to spell when I got to the weapons store. Anyone down for a short rest after this? Do you remember the E at the end of it? Because I'm proud of you if you my, did. 
I did. I can handle oh, I'm three so letter proud. words sometimes. My before. my head hurts just comprehending this. Okay, Kalefi and William, you are still in the room with the black orb. Is that correct? No, I went out to I went out to Nazim. I'm in like the corridor bit, overwatching Nazim and um, Wolfgang and um, shaking William, my head in disbelief. Uh, are you still present with the black orb? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so at this point, Hadvar is investigating the painting on the wall, and it is now oh, that's swung. That's what I was about to do. It is, it, um, it, it is now swung open. And behind the painting, you see two potions and a note. Okay, I I walk up to it and I read the note. Hadvar hands it to you, and the note simply says, "Check on this orb but once a day, please." It's signed with a large S. Slivering. <laughs> yeah, must be. You had the Gryffindor um, sword on floor day in room okay, four. Um, then I like, kind of like, go like that. I don't. Oh, could you see? Go like what? Wait. Let me, is there a piece of paper somewhere? Okay, so like, say I'm reading it like that. Yep. I go like that okay. to Hadvar, yep. and I say, "Any idea?" Seems like simple instructions to me. I'm guessing they're not for us. <laughs> So check just on when it. I think, just when I give you a Indeed, chance to not be a dick, Hadvar, you have to prove me wrong. I can't help being right all the time. It's just you know, it, it comes naturally. Okay, I did, I just ignore him and I swipe. Go. I swipe both potions and walk out the room. Is Which add, potions are? Please add one potion of invisibility and one potion of greater healing. Oh, I wasn't actually. I wasn't pocketing them. I'm just carrying them. To okay, you are carrying one. one potion of invisibility and one potion of superior healing. You would be able to identify these <coughs> easily with your magical knowledge. Okay, um, and I tell everyone what we found. Oh, so you guys, um, I found a potion of superior healing and invisibility. Did you say? That's correct. Um, and a note saying to check on the orb at least once a day. Signed S. If anyone knows who S is. I just told you. Oh, not a sausage. Um, I don't know point, if it's a sausage. At this point, Hadvar has uh, not followed the party, but instead followed Nazim and is now Nazim. So okay. how many of these magical So I'm with Nazim and Hadvar. Magical? The magical yeah. nuts. Ah, uh, let's say you still have another six. Six oh, magical my... nuts. God. Okay, uh, I am... Um... <laughs> you, you're calling the magical nuts. I want to confirm this, okay? <laughs> I am not no, calling magical the magical nuts. nuts. Right. Okay, I um I give uh the potion of superior healing to Wolfgang. Yep. Ooh. Um and I give the potion of invisibility to Nazim. Uh, okay, you, I'm Thank assuming you. you are walking to Nazim at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't just uh thrown no, it. I go from one <laughs> no, thrown it eighteen from... foot down <laughs> the corridor. <laughs> no, 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 I walk from one to the other. Okay. So Hadvar Wolfgang uh, Hadvar uh, William and Nazim are in the corridor. You have out of the I followed. You're following, okay. Uh, is it fair okay. to say that everybody <laughs> other than Wolfgang is following? Wolfgang, what are you doing with your nuts? <laughs> oh no, I'm following the party. I've, okay. I'm just happy I have these magical nuts now. Okay. At this point, I'm going to take lead, and I'm just going to continue searching down the corridor that we can see ahead of us. Yep, um, it's fair to say that you are investigating carefully, correct? You yes, made, sir. You make it to the door with ease. Um... Just a uh, uh, heads up, you also were given an invisibility potion, correct? Yes, sir, I added it. Um, you so, arrive, this door. You, you would arrive at what looks like a fairly solid metal door um, uh, with a large bar across the middle. Um, what level healing potion was I given? I was too concerned with my nuts. It's a one up, Area. basic. Uh, like <clears throat> greater, I it's a greater. So, is there anything funky about this door as well? Uh, let me just do a check to make sure there's no traps on the door. Yep, investigation check. Excellent plan. Uh, that is a 12. That's enough to tell you that although the door is not trapped in the slightest, it opens towards you. Oh. There is no hand. There is only a bar block. Okay, so I'm this walking. bar across the middle. You could lift it off. It's just held in place okay. outside. It's light. You, you. I mean, it's a piece of metal, but you know, you're a. Maybe the halfling shouldn't grab it, but in general, it's you know, it's perfectly liftable. Uh, do you want to open this door and go through this way? Do you want to uh, handle it like this, or? Well, we can't go so through the, the other door way. With a bar across it. Uh, yeah, we can. We can go through either there's way. A, like a little pull handle on it. Oh, there's no handle. That's the point. There's oh. no handle. It opens towards you. Nazim has confirmed that it opens towards you, but from the other side. 
Does anybody have the ability to pull something? Yes. What is the door off? made out of? Metal. 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 Hmm. If you unbar the door, I can force this door open. I can okay. do that without Mage Hand as well. As oh, yeah, I don't want that Mage Hand as well. Make sure we move back. Make sure we move back. We don't know what sort of door it is. It might just like come really fast and crush us. Right. Yep. Uh, shall we make a little bit of room and then I'll open this door? Does yeah, that sound good? Take a few steps back. Somebody yep. needs to unbar the door first. Yeah, right. yeah. Un unbar the thing first, Wolfgang. Wolfgang she is would please. carrying a large bar of metal right now. I'm just holding it. <laughs> Okay, G steps you back, please, down. Wolfgang. This door's going I, to open. I ping it on the ground a couple times. Okay. How, how many steps is a few steps? To the yeah. wall. How far away? <laughs> you're, you're at the wall. Okay. If you're saying stuff like that, to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Good decision. Carry on. As you were, Kalefi. Okay. So, it's time for Thaumaturgy. Cast at will, you instantaneously cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut. I'm going to cause this door to fly open. A door far behind you and down a corridor you hear open. Uh, the door in front of you remains closed. I don't oh no, so specifically, oh, I'll, I'll cause an oh. unlocked door. What, what, what's the range on this? The range is 30 foot. Okay. Uh, in that case, I, mean, it is a targetable I thought it was ability. 60 foot. Right, if it's a targetable ability, nothing happens. Um, unfortunately, really? it does state a unlocked door. The door is locked. Okay. It's locked and the from the other side. So if you imagine it's got right. like a hand lock on it. So there's no handle, well, but there is a, a key lock, right? No, it is clear. You were, As you've investigated the door, you have clearly worked out that it needs to be unlocked from the other side. Okay. Uh, okay, nice. but there's no like hole where you can lock it with a key. No, it is a solid. You're basically looking at a solid metal portal. It's a big okay. block of metal. Um, and I tap Kalefi on the back and say, good job, wizard. I mean, hey, hey, at least you've confirmed it's locked. Great. <laughs> Thank okay, you for Luna, Luna, Luna said that. she could do something about it. What can Luna I do? I can do the exact same thing the wizard can do. <laughs> well, I can do it too. Maybe if all three of us do. <laughs> that doesn't okay. make it unlocked all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my newfound metal piece, and I yeah. want to walk oh. back down the hallway towards the other door. The, the this way. Yep. Yep. Okay. This is the door I'm that gonna... is trapped on the right, or the door that is yeah. open on the left. I'm going to stand back from it. Yep. And I'm going to javelin. Like I'm standing like ten feet back, so I'm not so there. I'm like the, you're in the previous room. Yeah. Uh. You, yeah, that'll work. Be slightly and I'll from you. Back into the corridor the doorway. Watching. We'll call you there for now. Yep. What are you doing with yeah. this the large block of metal? Uh, I'm javelining it at the little black orb on this door. Oh, the black orb that's in the center of the room. Oh. The black what? orb no, is I in the center the... of this room. On a no, I thought, I thought that was the trap on the door. What's the no, trap the trap on, on the door, door is a poison dart. Ow. And something magical is emanating from it, but you don't know what. Hold on, guys. Would you like to? Ow. Are you jabbling at the black orb in the middle of the room? No. Thank God. I was trying to open a door, not. Okay. Can we get Luna to? Can we get Luna to identify the door? I. That's even more gems. I Wait, don't think we... that's necessary. Can't we just ask Vivian to go into the room and? See what she doesn't out. have a body. You can't go through, doors. She she can't you can't go through a can't wall. Go through She's a ghost. What kind of can ghost I is that? Can I go real skinny and like sneak between the crack in the door? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of ghost can't go through? Walls? No, I mean like this is a, you're you're a fully a, um sort of ethereal being, but uh, I mean it's fair to say that walking through a door is not a thing uh, for you. Um, Calm bullshit, but okay. Oh, I second that. Unlucky Casper. <laughs> I that. Unlucky Casper. Um, Luna, were you investigating the door or identifying it, or did I did nothing? Mm. Yeah. Um, I can investigate it. Um, as you, uh, if you'd like to make them, are you touching it or not? Uh, um. By the way, make an Arcana check. Oh, an Arcana. Okay. Yeah, that's far more likely. Really? Because that's still a plus three. That's worse than my investigation. <laughs> um, even at a seven, it's fair to say that you can tell that the cantrip on this door is very minor. 
Uh, do probably... we have a way to dispel magic? No. no. I do not have the ability to dispel magic. As in, to say, Luna, it, no. to, see, to say, Luna, you would be aware that the door might contain magic, but doesn't <coughs> appear to have any harmful spell attached to it. It is just... You know, well, if we all... If we all... Well, it doesn't seem to be dangerous, but there's some spell on it. It's not dangerous. Know what it is. If, if we all... What are we waiting for? It's still locked. If, oh, if it's we, not locked. Um, no, this it's is not locked. locked. It's got Sorry. a poison dart on it. Is no, there no, any no. way that I can try and disarm the yeah, poison dart? Of course, make a slide of hand That's what you're here for. Okay, well, I'm rolling that 20, 27. Oh, oh my god. You disarm it and the door swings open. <laughs> you look at it menacingly and it just gives up. Um, as you look into the room, um, there is, it looks like a very important sort of uh, guest bedroom. Um, on guess, the, uh, uh, on this the, must be where Vivian's been staying. On the right hand side is a sort of elegantly made golden head stand with a bed. Um, on the left is sort of a large uh, professional desk. If you like, um, there is a pair of braces lying on top of the desk. Um, to the left of that is a set of thieves tools. Um, and then there is a book uh, placed bang in the center of the desk. Um, okay. At the end of the I, desk I is a chest. And at the end of the bed is it? I would like to take the initiative and just walk in checking for any additional traps. Check the chests for traps. It's, it's fairly obvious I... that there are no traps in the floor. Uh, would you like to investigate the chest as well? I would uh, like... Okay, so where are the chests again? Sorry, Wolfgang, you said? I would like to immediately go up to and start jumping on the bed. <laughs> Wolfgang's jumping on the bed. You've got one chest at either... Um, at the end of the bed uh, to your right and one chest at the end of the table to your left. If you imagine these uh, tables sort of there are a gap away from the door, so there's a passage round round, and then here you have uh, the two so, the long table and a chest at the end. You have a chest I would like to Chang is currently on the bed, correct? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I would I'd like, like to head over to the desk. desk. Yep, hold on, Clefie, hold on, Clefie, sorry. Nazim, uh, what are you doing with the chests? I would like to check the chest for any trap. Uh, okay, just make one the one by the bed. <coughs> uh, 20. Yep, uh, so you find out that uh, the chest is not trapped at all. Uh, it, is lo it is locked with a very sort of light padlock. Um, you would either be able to, you, you would think that you would be able to pick it or you could just smash it. Um, okay, in that case, I would like to use my thieves' tools and try and pick lock it. Yep, next check, please. Uh, 18. Uh, nice and easy. You remove the padlock. Okay, so I'm going to open the chest and see what's inside. Uh, inside the chest is a second pair of braces. Um, a small silver locket. Um, and a small pile of gold. A little bag. Okay, I'm going to try and steal the gold before anybody sees it. Okay, well, hand. we're all... He's crouching over this. Make a slide of hand. 13. Thirteen. It's fair to say that people see you moving surreptitiously, but they're not sure what you've done. Okay. Uh, Luna, can I get you to try and work out what these braces are? Uh, I have a passive perception perception of thirteen. Uh, you I can should tell be able them. To you can tell them magic. This shit. As you can uh, also tell, I'm, them. I'm looking at him feeling shit. Oh yes, yes, yes. You, as I said, you saw him moving surreptitiously. You just don't know what he snuck into his. Cloak. Wait, how many gold? What did, what did you take? find there? You haven't opened the bag. If you, you would need a very high perception. Oh, you said there was just gold coins. No, I said a bag in a small pouch. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah, you would require an incredible perception check to know how much gold is inside the bag without opening it. Okay. Uh, well, I basically, I just took this uh, little bag of gold coins. What looks to be gold coins. I will distribute <laughs> evenly once we uh, have worked out the contents of the chest. Um... A likely story. Hold on to the bracers. <laughs> I would like to identify everything at the same time that we find. Have I broken this bed yet? Don't really want oh, to the bed's, uh, bed's pretty intact. <laughs> it can handle a 350-pound orc jumping up and down yeah, on it, it. It's just a frame. You're not jumping on a mattress. Ow. I thought there was a mattress <laughs> No, no, no. Here. It's a gold headboard and, like, a, just just a bed frame. You know, imagine this is sort of... It's old, uh, but it's golden. You know, you haven't, you haven't managed I, to I, break I a golden up, bed I, yet. I walk up to the bed frame and, like... Glide my hand over and say, "Oh, this is gorgeous." Um, I want to grab the other bracers that were on the t 
table and your put them on the desk. and your knowledge would tell you that the two pairs of braces are definitely identical. Identical, okay. Well, um, I'm gonna okay, put the right. braces down on the ground with the ones that Nazim gave me. We'll look for other things first. I'm also Before gonna put a pair of pouch of gold coins next to the braces. Uh, I don't need to identify those, Just but so okay. Yeah, so I'd like to distribute them evenly. What if they're magical? Wait, I put my magical nuts in the pile with the... Uh, oh, my God. No, I didn't. Oh, no, no. Nazim, are you still what holding friends? the silver locket? What about just one of them? Uh, the silver locket. <laughs> silver just locket to make you happy. Uh, I've picked up it in my hands, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will put that down next to the pile of braces and gold and nuts. So left on the table to your left is one book. Um, yeah, and, I want to check that book out, and the rest of the stuff on the desk. And uh, on, uh, yeah, just sort of a smattering of papers, etc. Um, and a set of thieves' tools. And in the the chest oh, is oh, yeah, empty. The you still have like a chest the at the end of the. You still have a chest at the end of the uh, table. Oh, yeah, we have another chest. That's right. Okay, would you like me to go and investigate that again? Yes. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the chest and check it for traps. Uh, there are two incredibly <coughs> intricate traps. Uh, on there that you can but if you you can see them quite clearly uh, even if you were not a rogue you would be aware that there are very intricate traps sort of imagine one sort of looks like a spring dart um, and the other one is sort of a sort of a little tip of poison uh, that is literally dripping in front of you okay can I attempt to snap the poison bit um, of this dart hold on before you do that I would like to paint a little picture on the chest and give you inspiration. Okay. Yeah. If you would like to make a slight of uh, dex check. You don't have to use it, but if you need, a, need it, you can expand okay, the it. Dex 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 it's fair to say that you can disarm the poison dripping quite easily. The sprung crap, uh, if you're fairly aware that it, it's not disarmable as much as it is avoidable. Okay. So how do we go about You're, you're sort of aware that it is going to affect you if you are stood directly in front of the chest when it opens. Okay, so I'm assuming this is... This should be disarmable somehow in the room. No, no, you so would be aware it... that it is sort of not a disarmable trap. It's, it's something is going to happen when you open the chest, but it's only going to go directly out of the chest. Um, Dude, it looks like it shoots something at you. Unlocked it? it is uh, unlocked. It is unlocked. Okay, uh, we should all uh, back away from it. Okay. Can we just make sure nobody's in front of the chest, please? Wolfgang, are you still bouncing on the bed, or would you like to move towards the No, now that I know there's not a manager, I'm just kind of sitting on the bed, kicking the floor. Wolfgang, could you come over here, please, just for a little bit? Then you can go sit back there again. Okay. Goal clear. Okay, so I'm going to open the chest. I'm... No, no, no. Bear with Luna as well. Oh, what? I think Luna yeah. is busy. Luna is going to thaumaturgy it open. The chest okay. swings open. A dagger sort of sticks out of it into the wall to your right. Um, okay, have fun with open. it. Um, and inside, uh, you can see straight away, it is a large stack of papers. <coughs> and I pick up the dagger. Sure. I... <coughs> It's just, just a regular dagger. old dagger. It is just the dagger. <laughs> I uh, walk over to the desk where Kalefi is and I say, found anything good? Well, I wouldn't know yet. <laughs> okay, Kalefi, when you finish there, can you come and have a look at all these papers on? Sure, but this book first. What is this book? Um, do you remember earlier on you found a very tattered journal? AV, um, sorry, with a uh, very tattered journal you couldn't read anything of. This is, uh, yeah. it looks exactly the same, but it has KV engraved on it in lovely gold writing. Front. However, okay, when you open well, it, this it is, is completely empty. <clears throat> completely empty? Completely empty. Is it just empty. papers in that chest? It is a right. large stack of papers in that chest. <laughs> okay. Oh, whenever you're ready, I'll do identify, then. Whenever you're done doing with them. But on the center of the room, with all the stuff. Yes. Or on the papers. Does the death no, 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 on the group, on the pile of things. Okay. Your, but... your, your arcane knowledge is enough to tell you the only magical items in front of you are unfortunately not the nuts, but just the two pairs of braces. Um, your identifier reveals that they are both braces. Of... Um, 
Uh, does the desk have any drawers or anything? Uh, no, it is a sort of an old writing desk, so it's sort of right, right, tilted right. upwards, uh, it's, right. you know, heavily set. And it was a book, um, Thief Tools and... Uh, there were uh, Thief Tools, a book, and some a couple of scattered papers um, that are <coughs> old and moldy and sort of tattered away, nothing legible on them. Okay, so what do we know about these braces? They're braces of defense, and we know that, right? Braces of defense. All right. Okay. I very much appreciate having one of those. Cool. No one's getting them but Wolfgang because they only work on Wolfgang. Yeah. No, they work on me. Uh, are you wearing no armor, Cliffy? Yeah, no armor. Okay. You wearing no armor? Okay, no. you can have these. Cool. That's yeah. One pair each, yeah? Yes, yep. thank you. Ooh, it is, this is plus fan. two AC if you're not wearing armor and you're not using a shield. Yes, I thought we only had one person not wearing armor. Okay. Um, yeah, that. My that, apologies. That, that Are changed. you all inside the room at this point? And... Yeah. Uh, so we should look at these this book of papers. Yeah. See what. See if there's anything. I'd also like to know before, like since we've just done ID on the big pile, how many gold coins do oh, we yeah, have? The gold coins is in there. I guess. Identified. Does that tell me how many gold coins are in a pouch? Hey guys, yeah. can we sit down for a little while? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Long enough to attune to your braces <laughs> by any possible <laughs> chance. Long enough. Um, at this point, Hadvar steps forward and says, "Guys, it'll take me a good hour to figure out how to put these things on." Guys, I, I've got to stop here. I, I've got to, got to tell you something. I've got to. I've not been honest. With you. Um, All right, I think uh, we figured what? that out already. It is so what is fair it to holding say out? that um, Lady Illustrial may may not have sent. Um, there's one simple way to do this, and uh, the. Uh, Reaches up to his face. Um, I have one of my. I point my. I, I like to another dimension. Uh, I... <laughs> he pulls down his mask, feeling himself to be a drow elf, a wonderfully I, I... wide-brimmed hat. I no, point my. How the hell do you hide a hat under there? He's I, uh... Uh, Agatha's mask is a. Uh, he, he, as he lets his mask down, he says, "Look, this is a mask of disguise." I. We're not always I very easily them. accepted as drow elves, but then he bows deeply and puts his hat on his cheek. He says, uh, Greetings, I am Jarl Axel, leader of Bregendale. Um, and <coughs> if I'm honest, I came to investigate to help uh, on my own accord. Um, I thought that maybe you guys might need some help, and I have been very intrigued by Vala's powers. Uh, since I've been released from his service, uh, I have been trying to work against him with my group. This seemed like a good place. I point my staff towards him and say, well, how do we how do we trust you, even anything what you're saying now? Perhaps you because do, perhaps you, you don't. Us. But uh, this is as this was the first opportunity I saw, to be honest, where perhaps it was not too soon. Um, I don't want to fight with you. Um, Can I do an insight check to see if he's if I believe him? Yeah, you can do an insight check. Fuck me, I ain't seeing <laughs> shit. Um, yeah, he, he seems convincing. Um, he then uh, pulls his, uh, opens his bag of holding, and he says, uh, I can't always, uh, I can't always uh, prove to you uh, that I am here to help, but I've done everything I can on the way to give assistance. Now, first of all, you gave me these two mitral armor plates. Um, I'm more than happy to hand them back to you uh, when we're out of this place, but if you'd prefer, perhaps some straight-up gold might uh, might convince you that I really am on your side. Uh, just one second. What was his name now? Jarlaxle. Jarlaxle. Uh, how are you spelling that? J-A-R-L-A-X-L-E. Oh, that guy. He is the person who <laughs> met on your Into the Dragon's Lair one-shot, who was stood outside with some half-deformed dragon children. Oh, God. Had a very specific. He had a also very helped you get feather. out. Yes, he, as you see, on um, one very large mm. feather, feather of the diatribe. <laughs> we also have no idea about any of that because that was yeah, none exactly. of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you can see the large feather. It is clearly still there, yeah, yeah. and his uh, wonderfully shimmering robe of many colors. Um, what do you mean you worked for him? So, where we first set up, uh, we set up uh, at the top of. Uh, stone and uh the Vala came to us um me and my group breaking they are this group of mercenary drow um and 
he he was very convincing uh, or terrifying, depending on which way you'd like to word it. But he we decided that it was more in our interest to assist than to die. Uh, so he asked us to keep an eye on a dragon he was basically holding as a pet. Uh, fear not, the dragon is now slain. Uh, however, he was using this dragon to guard this very person you see here, and he gestures towards Vivian's um, Vivian's sort of ethereal being. Um, I would and, know about this, though, right? And he kind of points at Wolfgang, and he, I believe it was you we pulled out of that mountain. Uh, does it sound at all like something I would do? Mm -mm, not me, never. I believe you came in <laughs> shouting, Vivian? <laughs> Oh, not me. Not day in my life. <laughs> well, we rescued you anyway, just because we were feeling generous. <laughs> I, I am very embarrassed looking and trying not to make eye contact with anyone right now. Yeah, it's fair to say that Big Bang didn't actually meet Jarlaxle because he was unconscious at the time. Uh, Vivian, yeah. however, would have been very aware that Jarlaxle was present, although she's currently rearranging her flowers. Uh, <laughs> we see you! No, she's uh, eating the cat. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I just sorry, one it's... more question. of who? Uh, just Jarlaxle. Um, he is the leader of Break and Day Alright, uh, do you know what? I'll stick that in chat, because spelling that out is, uh... Hang on, Break and Day Um, a, a drow mercenary group, uh, from Menzo Baranzen. And that's the best attempt I can make at spelling that off the top of my head. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, he, Vivian would know of Jarlaxle and, Jar and has seen him sort of uh, defeating a dragon right in front of her face um, when Vala then s swooped her away. So she would, she would have seen him. She was in her corporeal form at the time. She was chained well, to a wall. So yeah, this but group you were with. with was when we fought the dragon. No, but he then came in and got rid of you. He, he helped. He escorted a group out. Uh, no. Did he? No. Are you not no. He wouldn't know her. Uh, no, <coughs> he, would have, he would have seen Jarlaxle in the past. This was Jarlaxle's technically pet dragon, right? But she has only seen him being evil. Yeah. Are we yet to discover what's actually in it for Jarlaxle? Uh, like, Jarlaxle why are you is... doing that? Okay. Uh, I'm attempting to uh, <coughs> maybe in some way compensate for what we had to do in service of Vala, but also. Frankly, he's really bad for business, and, you know, as the person who is currently running Luskin, effectively, um, it, it's really it's really awful for business having a dark necromancer take over the whole Sword Coast. So, uh, besides, you know, we really could do with getting rid of somebody quite that. If and what, what's, what's stopping him from coming back and doing whatever he did before to get you to work with him? Well, we were, we were very uh, compromised at the time. Uh, I didn't have the full strength of the band with me. I was unfortunately... In the disguise you first assail me with, with uh, where as Hadfar I am not quite uh, able to utilize all my abilities, one might say. And we were very distracted. And he caught us unawares. Right now we have prepped, we've gone underground in Luskin. I brought more of my band up from Menzo Brands and from the Underdark. And I am being as elusive as I can. So, this is all very well and interesting, but what does this have to do with us and us being here? Well, you see, I just thought it. If I uh, decided to do something without your say as Hadfar, whilst I might still appear to be the always correct person that I am, it, it might be a little less uh, fearful for you if you saw me at my first. Okay, I, I guess that makes some sense. Okay, can we have like a little rest to try and get our heads around it? Okay, also during this little rest, I'd like to count the coins in the pouch. There are 100 three gold pieces. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, specific. Now we're taking um, a can I... rest, then. Sure, sure. Um, uh, yeah. Can you, like, the bed frame, uh, can you see what's underneath? It's a solid block down of, uh, <coughs> of metal in front. So it's, uh, it's fair to say, if it was, if it wasn't solid, a Wolfgang would have made a fair dent in the middle. Okay, can, I under, can, I, can I look under the bed to see if there's anything under the bed? What you see, would see is a block of metal at the front, right? It is from, from oh, bed right, right, right. You like can't get under it. It's a solid yeah, slab. Yeah, solid. yeah. Right, right. Hence, Wolfgang would otherwise have made a large dent. Would you like well, me to help move that, William? So, Nazim, shall we um okay, distribute these coins you found? So it's 173 coins, right? Gold coins. 
Okay, yeah, we could, just, uh, we could just have each person take 24 coins. That, that'd be okay, are we splitting six ways or five ways or seven ways? Oh because God. every member, so don't worry about you. Okay, so Vivian is, an, is also inferior, so five ways, right? Yeah. 34 coins, actually. Yeah, 34. we got 34 coins each. So I'm going to distribute the coins evenly amongst the, the group. Yeah, like, so reiterates his offer of, would you like payment for these mithril armor plates that I can actually use uh, now? I think that would be a good idea, personally. What do you guys think? I I'm think fine with that. That's what we were going to do with them anyways. Yeah. As much as, you see, as much as he is being a dick, he still helped us. And he's being honest. Well, the, uh, the you know, I think we should be a little bit more forthcoming with him now as well. I think this is a trade that would be in our interests. He have a humongous pouch uh, out of his uh, out of his bag of holding and just sort of slams it on the ground in front of you. Oh boy, let's get to count. Um, <laughs> Do we have to count this, or is he going to tell us? If you wish to count, you can. But there's five thousand gold pieces in there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to say this. I, I say that. I say he's going to wash our trade. Thirty-four gold to each of our inventories. Mm -hmm. Wait, well, how many, sorry? Thousand and Ooh, thirty-four. That's cutting Vivian out of a lot of money, just because she doesn't have a body, though. No. I don't know if I'm okay with that. Do you fear for your, uh... Money your is for the material world. I thought, she right. was a, she, I thought she was a sister of the clock. How much was it? One thousand and thirty-four. Um, I walk over to the chest with the papers in and see what's up with the papers. Hey, at the very top it says, Cushiel Valerian, master of the Valerian House of Punishment. And below are details of his uh, punishings. Uh, how are Ooh. you spelling that? Sounds I like a... spelling that like this. Uh, one might take note of the uh, the, the initials on the uh, of Kushil Valerian are also on the front of the journal in KV. This is most definitely During your is. short rest, have you left the door open? Uh, of course we have. have. <laughs> I never shut a door day in my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of yeah, course we have. The door is still open. Airflow. Right? Yeah, 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 we definitely didn't close that. Uh, just for um, reference, I'm also taking this time to drop my attunement to the slippers of spider climbing for the time being and swap over to the braces of defense attunement. Okay. Um, uh, do you uh... wish to offer your slippers of spider climbing to anyone else, or are you just bagging them? Hey, man, uh, I'll I just got a my bag of holding for the time being, and um, I will have a bag be of holding. Able to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opted to go for a bag of holding since I can't use the armor that I had previously as dropping rogue. You don't have a bag. Okay, I don't have a bag of holding. Okay. I'm in your bag of not holding. Um, bag of not them. holding, okay. <laughs> um, Very uh, well. Okay, so I, I turn around, like, not fully, just my head, and I say, I think I figured out who KV is. Who? So, so does everybody. We just heard you. What? I still haven't put the pieces we, together. Is it only is it only William that's seen the papers, or is yes, it's only William. Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm the only one that went over there. What does it stand for, William? It stands for <laughs> Cushiel Valerian. That <laughs> Cushiel Valerian. Okay. Naming a battle to anyone? I mean, that would probably what the KV stands for on multiple things that we've discovered recently. Cushiel Valerian, uh, or rather <coughs> Valerian House, which is named after Cushiel Valerian, is a long-standing house of punishment, um, known among the Dragonborn. Uh, this is Jarlak House of... You. What do you mean, um, a house of punishment? Like, so the fun the, kind of the way the Dragonborn, the way the Dragonborn divide up their uh, society, they have various houses, so you have the House of Healing, the House of Punishment, the House of the Sages, the House of Knowledge, uh, etc. Um, the House of Punishment is where those who have committed crimes um, are then punished. Uh, the Valerian House is renowned not only for its uh, its justice, but also for the uh, severity of the punishments. Uh, it's renowned that they can hold torture for two to three weeks for somebody without oh dying. Oh my god. A group of barbaric people. Um, so it's not it some sadomasochism sort of um, quirk thing. Ooh. It's actual... Oh, no, a few yeah, of the Valerian adepts may be interested in the more sexual side of things, but as yet I've not had, been able to explore that. However, I have met a couple of adepts from the Valerian House of Punishment, and they are they are quite the masters of their art. Cushiel uh, Valerian is who the whole house was named after. He was a famous punisher from 275 years ago, roughly. Um, um, I was a little younger. I, I read through the papers. Uh, 
first. Oh, the first. So, first bit of I the actually... paper. Sorry, uh, Harold Benjamin. Mean, first uh, yeah. thing you would read on the paper is uh, a name, sort of uh, rock set, and then a dash, and then uh, detailing of the punishment that they received. So, whipping for six hours, uh, tied, uh, tied from feet uh, upside down, three hours, uh, stripped naked, head dipped in acid, etc. And as you keep reading, oh. there is this, this is detail, gory details of person after person, punishment after punishment. As you as you flick through many many pages, you see every page is detailing to punishment. Kind of sick that they kept track of this. Ah, oh, I think that the records of the of the houses are necessary. Uh, to have them housed here, however, is very strange. So this Valerian dude, huh? Do you, what do you know about this person? Only that the house, the Valerian house, is named after him. I mean, as I say, it was 275, 300 years ago they changed the name. Um, it was the Human, Fla Elf, something? Uh, all Any dragon, idea? Uh, Dragonborn. Or... The, the, the Dragonborn. House, uh, the Valerian what? house and all of these houses are the houses of the Dragonborn. What, what is his bedroom hmm. doing here when we... I, I thought we, think this I thought we figured that... It's well, I thought this room. place was dwarven. It was dwarven. Uh, certainly in the time 275 years ago, it would most definitely have been being held by him. Perhaps he was guesting here. So at this point, it's very safe to assume this guy is very much dead. Well, some of the Dragonborn live quite a long time, but I, I would say that that is a stretch. But yes, he most probably has a... Well, at least it's comforting to know that we're probably not going to have to deal with this... Horrendous you say barbarian. That, but, uh, there are many ways to I wouldn't extend call them barbaric. one's life. Certainly, compared to my mother, they're angelic. Well, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit so weird. Uh, my mother is the matron people. of my is matron Bernary. Uh, she is the leader of Menzo Brands and the Drow Town. Um, and uh, yes, I mean she would enjoy the torture very much. Uh, at least the Dragonborn seem to use some sense of justice. Uh, however, okay. uh, this uh, there is a reason why I decided to reveal myself to you, and that is because I wanted to do something that uh, perhaps you might not trust me with otherwise. A black orb in the other room, um, I'm actually, uh, it, it was connected to the black magic on the door, is that, um, as we discovered. I uh, I have a device with me that may be able to deal with that. What device? Um, so it, it's a little like a bag of holding, however, what it does is smother all magic inside it. And I think so far, just pull this out. The door. I would hope it would disable the magic. Um, if not, we're going to have a mighty explosion on us. So, uh, a bag? Is it a bag? A cloth? Or it's a bag? Are you sure it's strong enough for this of kind of magic? Power? Well, I've um, I I've had many, many magical objects in this of incredible power at various times. Um, we had once the soul of a draco lich uh, held inside this bag. And that didn't appear to give off any emanations. I can't believe that mm. this black orb. You is defeated a Dracolich? Well, it, there was a group. Was, uh, was I'm, I'm uh, it was a I hate to blow my own trumpet, but you could probably read the stories oh. of it. It, it was well. Uh, you know, well I'm, I'm finding it. I'm finding it harder and harder to believe that you was on that you was very unwilling to help um, the Witch King. I mean. Uh. Well, you know, you seem, I mean, you seem, you usually seem profit to be comes very... first, but when somebody's quite that destructive and quite that overbearing, it's it's really not good for business, like I said. I like to be Allegiances can change. I like to be in charge. Allegiances are as Yeah, fickle. not that quickly, though. So at what point have we finished our rest? Now. Okay. For a while. <laughs> okay, so you guys are now attuned to your braces, correct? Yeah. Okay, at this point... Have we searched a room enough? You as yeah, uh, I do. We have yeah. With the last, with the last bit of passage right here. So okay. this Dracolich thing that you said about. Yeah, we had the soul of a Dracolich for a while. I gave it to one of my colleagues uh, in exchange for some services. But you, gave, you were able to keep this thing in this bag. Yes, and how held it quite easy. You were able to keep it in the, in this bag indefinitely, or is this just like it's a six short or seven duration months? type? What are you going to do with the orb afterwards? Well, ideally, take it to somebody else to be destroyed. I don't really want to play with it. I thought you was all about well, the profit. Can you sell it? Well, my uh, uh, comrade of mine, uh, Muriel, he is a psionicist, and he is very good at turning the properties of a magical object, sometimes replicating them, sometimes destroying them, sometimes shutting them down, sometimes selling them. 
Um, if it's alright with you guys, that's what I'd be doing. Unless you have a particular propensity for dark magic orbs in the center of a room you'd like to take home with you. I mean, no, I'm now. not too keen on As tempting magic. as it would sound, I think it would be a terrible idea. We could also just Slightly out it. of my wheelhouse. Come on, then. I mean, smash smashing it. it's a little bit wasteful, is it not? I can see your argument that you make, and uh... just like to get through this before. Go on, then, John. Yeah. I'll smash it. Uh, the piece of metal, just take it. The piece or... of metal that Wolfgang had left on the floor, he picks up and he dashes it through the doorway at the other black orb, which shatters into thousands of tiny pieces. He turns to you guys and he shrugs. And he goes, Maybe I'm better at like magic than I thought I was. No. <laughs> I'm going to take the time while it's happening to investigate the rest of the room, which we haven't investigated. Okay, so as you were to explore up this side, you find that there is nothing of any particular import. Um, however, on the uh, metal portal door um, is, again, the initials KV. Um, and as you push it, uh, you would need to twist the handle. If you twist the handle away to unlock the door and push it, it swings wide open. Okay. If um if that orb was connected to the room with the dark magic, perhaps with the orb that magic's gone to, we we should check it out. I agree. Uh, before we do that, there's one thing I would like to do. Okay. <laughs> Just one very brief thing. Uh, the orb that's been smashed. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to take a little look at some of the broken pieces. Uh, do they still con uh, do they, are they still emanating, or is no, the magic being no dispelled? Or something? They are effectively now matte, if you like, as opposed to glossy. Um, they are, yeah, they're just faded shards. My dispel I magic. Pocket one of the shards just for, just as, just for the hell of it. Yeah, I'd like to pocket one of the shards as well. My guess, I'm a small shard of you pass to your. Um, which way would you like no, to go? It just, it's, it, it's a rather pretty looking thing. I like That's it. a memento, so. I see. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't want to go past the void. I would like to go back towards There's the There's no longer a void. This is just a drop to the outside of the tower. Okay, well, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, really my good. magical nuts got rid of it. <laughs> They're not magical. I've heard that before. I identified them. They're not magical. <laughs> Listen, I have seen magic with my own eyes. Magic is I in the eye of the beholder. Get rid of it. <laughs> okay, go with magic. Whatever makes you happy. That's definitely beauty, Vivian. <laughs> okay, are you going up or down? North or south? Just I'm south. going south. Are we going back to room yeah. six? Yeah. Yep. Because we think it should be openable now. Yeah, we it very well, still, it very well should be, yeah. Yeah, we should still let somebody uh, magic open the door, though, just in case. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I in that throw case, at the door. you throw what? One of my magical nuts at the door to try and make another hole into the abyss. <laughs> no big black blast appears, but nothing else happens. To be interesting. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. it's safe now when I open the door. <laughs> okay. You open the door? Okay. Mm -hmm. As I you open the door, a, uh, a, a very oh. tall, dark figure with a long cloak greets you. Why, well, hello, friend. How are oh, you today? No. Wolfgang, we've talked about this. You can't just speak it's... to strangers like that. I'm quite fine. William, what cannot what, be afraid what are you doing in the friend. castle? Are you, are you here to see Shank? Who are no, you? No, I'm here to see Vivian. You're here to see Vivian? Have you seen Vivian? Is yes. She, it... Oh. Yes, my dear sister. Have you seen her? So, Shank doesn't know you're coming. Who are you? Shank. What are you no, talking Shank should know about? I'm coming. Everyone should know I'm coming to see Vivian. Wolfgang, stop it! Roll initiative. Fucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a one plus two is a three initiative. That's funny. I got a new this, this is why, this is why you have the person with high charisma as the face of the party. <laughs> uh, William, your initiative roll. He please. doesn't let me walk. Sorry, guys. Two seconds. William, your initiative roll, please. Nineteen. The dice forgave me. Okay, um, Kalefi. Eighteen. Okay. And uh, Nazim was also 18, is that correct? No, yeah, sorry, I was 16. Wolfgang was a mighty three, correct? Mm hmm. The mightiest three that there ever was. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I got my number wrong. It is an 18, it's 16. Great. The tank is last. <laughs> okay. Fine. Um, the dark cloaked figure dashes out towards you. Um, and he makes a. He, he tries to bite at Wolfgang's neck. Um. 
he, a he's a humanoid, right? He is. It's a what he's to hit? That is a 21 to hit? Yeah, I guess that'll hit. Uh, dealing 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, it's fine. Plus 5 points of necrotic damage. Sorry, 11 points of piercing damage plus 5 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Um, and then he swings at you with his fist. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That hits. And he does... 4 points of bludgeoning. I'm fine. Look how fine I am. Hey, and that How means... fine is fine? So fine. Do you have one? No. <laughs> Do you have any? <laughs> I've got plenty. Okay, that brings us to Luna. It's Luna Shimmerfield. Are you present with us? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it was my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, is Wolfgang still standing? Oh, uh, we believe so. Wolfgang, would you please inform us of your HP? Nope, because you don't know that. I am standing up, and I am fine. We can see how you're feeling, though, like, if you've got any, like, major cuts and stuff. Yeah, oh. you see me standing up, and you oh. see me fine. I'm really sorry. Okay. Give me a second. I can't get rid of the dungeon. There we go. So, we have uh, Wolfgang standing in the doorway. Yep. Um, the rest of you are currently behind, uh, barring Vivian. So, we'll say you are... I'm going to flip the map slightly just to the effort of not pulling you all over. Um, Vivian, you are present with Wolfgang. And allow me to pull Am up. Am I and... stuck to him? Yes. Yeah, pretty Kinda, much. yeah. You're he's, stuck in he's his very lost. Yep, and he is currently at Wolfgang. And how big is this dark, shadowy figure? Six foot three, humanoid, long cloak. Oh, um, so I'm looking down at him. He's just tried to bite with very sharp, vampiric fangs. It's fair to say you're aware what he is. James, our, our cams are frozen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Luna. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna run up to Wolfgang and I'm gonna cast. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Cure wounds on him. Restoring. If it'll roll. Restoring seven hit points to him. Oh. You should. We gotta work on your people skills, Wolfgang. And then I'm gonna bonus action draw a smiley face on him and give him a inspiration. Ooh. D4. Uh, D6. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, Jarl Axel draws his two swords um, and uh, steps forward towards the enemy, um, striking once uh, from the side uh, or. Twenty-six and once for thirty-seven. Jesus Christ! One of those would have killed. <laughs> and that brings us to William. Okay. At this point, so... the vampire is looking shook, but not murdered. Oh, he's a vampire. Yes, he bit at Wolfgang's neck with vampiric fangs. You, it was fair to say you could work out what he that. was. He had to stand on his tiptoes to get up to me. Um, he left. Do we? we <laughs> if they're in, the, if they're in the doorway, we don't have line of sight, do we? Uh, not currently. They are through the doorway, but not. You know, there's space enough to walk past them into the room. Okay. Um, I'd like to r run into the room, um, and stand like a. So it's fair to say you have sort of a 20 foot square the vampire is to the south end of the room and at the end at the east uh, north side of the room is a long line of bookshelves with a small path to the left i'd like to go in the room and as north as i can okay so you stand with your back to the bookshelves at the top of the room yeah uh, this puts you about 18 foot away from the boss uh, with jarl axel between you and the boss uh that's fine um and i uh I cast a uh, chill touch. Or using a touch spell from 22 foot away. Um. Yeah. Touching range, yourself. Uh, range area is 120 feet. It's 
it's it summons a spectral hand. It's not an actual. Oh, spell. I, I see. Don't... Right, I yeah. misunderstood. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, so it summons a ghostly skeleton hand, um, and it does damage, which I'll write in a sec. But what's important because it's a vampire is that it stops him from healing yep. until my next turn. I think. Okay. Absolutely fine. Yeah. This is regeneration. Fine. And uh, yep. I rolled to hit a ten. Okay. Need to roll to hit. Yeah, it's an attack. It is an attack. Okay. Um, your chilled touch is uh, not quite uh, affecting. It just kind of it's... flicks his hair. Yeah. yeah. The dice still stro- hasn't you stroked him me. <laughs> you stroked him gently, and that brings us to Nazim. Damn it. Okay, so he is a lot taller than me. He is a lot, lot taller than you. You are three foot six. Okay. He is six foot three. Okay, I am going to like whip underneath his legs. And I am going to attempt to tie his legs together. Hey, okay, make an aggressive check, please. Twenty-two. Nice. Um, what are you tying his legs together with? Uh, my silk rope. Okay. You bind his legs together. Um, he swiftly changes into a bat, flies up into the air, and repositions himself. Sure. Oh, how far away does he fly? Oh, I'm taking an foot. opportunity attack as he yeah, leaves. Yeah, opportunity is well for me. Okay. Pick your rolls, please. Uh, Nazim first. Hit. Uh, just trying to work out which one. Because I've got two daggers. Do I have opportunity both daggers? I mm, don't know. I just one. Think, so I believe it's just one. Okay, 17. That hits. You slash at his hamstring. Uh, for nine damage. And both. Uh, an eighteen to hit. That hits. For twelve damage. Okay. Um, Nazim, are you repositioning? Better say you have enough movement speed to then get back to where he is. I'm going to fall behind Vivian and Wolfgang. That brings us to Kalefi. Wow. We are still outside the door. Okay, so I'll move in. Um, let's ch- move me in somewhere with good line of sight. At the end of the room? Yeah, okay. that'll do. Anywhere good. Uh, and... It's fair to say if you're firing a line attack, it will not hit anyone at this point. Apart from him. Yeah, I'm just going to say screw this guy and I'm just going to Scorching Ray. Uh, make a range spell attack for each ray. Uh, three rays. So I have to roll three, yes. Yep. First one is an 18 to hit. That hits. Damage is a measly two. <laughs> it is, however, four. Second ray is 27. Double damage him as a. Oh, that is 54. And then it hits for four. What a damage variation. That hits for eight. And the third one is a 16 to hit. That does not. Damn. Wow. That's. Oh, uh... was your 27 to hit? Yeah, yeah. It was 27 was to hit. Oh, okay. I may have dealt with 54 damage. Okay. No, no, the hit was for four. So... <laughs> okay, so that was eight. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, at this point, you are aware that he is definitely taking double damage from the sun like properties of your ray of your. Uh, beam of fire. And that brings us to Wolfgang. If I smile at him, my glistening smile will do more damage. Uh, I would (laughs) like to, first of all, I'm going to enter a rage. Yep. Because I am displeased with this guy that bit me in the neck. I will then charge up to him and I will recklessly swing, I think it is. Uh, No, not reckless swing. The great weapon attack thing. Wait, is he still at that? No, no, he transformed immediately back. Okay. Um, and he can know. only do that once, by the way, during... Uh, you shouldn't be telling us his combat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I know that a lot of you understand how vampires work in general. Um, mm, you know, I have practice. no idea. Great Weapon Master, that's what it's called. So mm-hmm. I'm going to take a minus five to my two hit chance to do plus ten damage if I hit okay. him. Okay. So that's a what? It's 
a 21 to hit. That hits. And I do 10, 29 damage. And that Oof. brings us back to, uh, that brings us to Vivian. Alright, so I can cast as many things as I want. No, you can cast one spell per turn. You just, God damn. You just don't run out of spell slots. And you can also <laughs> cast them all at your highest spell casting level. Hmm, okay. So... <clears throat> Alright, can I cast a spiritual weapon? Okay. Shouldn't she be... on top of me in my necklace? Um, yes, put me on Dan. Okay, yeah, I mean, it, realistically, as long as she is in range, it doesn't actually make any difference where she's in the room. She can neither hit nor be hit. I want to be ethereal. I mean, we can hear what you Considering want. you have no spells, you'd be rather useless. <laughs> if I can hit without being hit, that sounds awful. No, you can't hit or be hit. But I can use oh, my spiritual she weapon can use to hit spiritual things. Weapon. Yes, you can. So, I want to create a big ass fucking brother. like mace yep like like Brigitte's humongous thing, chain. spiked macy yeah. chain yep yep love it and then are you swinging with it I'm just gonna fucking go for it that does not hit no, like, uh, you've <laughs> slammed your mace violently into the floor but i have a bonus action that i can move it and then repeat the attack within five feet so can i just like I believe Whoop. that your bonus action to do that would count as on another turn. It doesn't count on the turn at which you have attacked with it. It was effectively your bonus action there, and then yeah. your action was summoning it. Your bonus action was attacking with it. Right. Fair. Um, uh, the vampire uh, turns towards Wolfgang in his rage, um, and he brings out with a claw. Please. Oh. That is a 27 to hit. Yeah, I guess that'll hit. And deals 11 damage. That is already what half. What kind? Uh, 22 bludgeoning damage. So half to 11. Okay. Um, and then he grabs at your arms. If you would make an athletics check for me, please. Uh, Oh good, I do gain advantage on strength stuff. Oh, whew. first one was a two. <laughs> Second one was a uh, 24. 24, he grapples at your arms, attempting to pull you down, but your sheer size and strength is Um At this point, he then regenerates uh, by standing, staring up towards the sky and reaching his arms up. And that brings us to Luna. Uh, Luna is uh, going to Eldritch Blast his ass. <laughs> I have to roll for hit first, yeah. sir. Okay, sir. I didn't know that one was a hit. Well, that's a shitty fucking roll. That's yeah, a that is, 12. Who are you firing that at? The wall or the ceiling? Um, the ceiling. It fires, fires well wide, well above him. Smashes Ooh, into he's the ceiling. Oh, he's going up. First time I've just hit. off the ceiling to blind him. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm I'm not used to this. This is the first time I've ever used a warlock spell. Um, is that the end of your turn, though? Uh, mm, where am I? I'm pink. Yeah, I'm cool there. Okay. At this point, uh, Jalaxel steps forward um, and dashes around. He swings with his scimitar once. 31 damage. Jesus. He swings again. Oh. <laughs> oh no, hold on, I punched, that's why. <laughs> he swings again, dealing 26. And then he uses his bonus action uh, to toss a dagger at the, uh, the uh, vampire's back, dealing and missing wildly. Uh, <laughs> that brings us to William. At this point, the vampire is looking severely bad. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, well, I don't want him to heal again, so I I cast Chill Touch again. Hey, Hopefully it hits. 
<laughs> I rolled a one again and got a. Uh, I feel like my dice should a... all just have ones on them. Will we get hello? Make an intelligence save, please. Who me? Hmm? What did I do? <laughs> Showed how weak you are. Hey, roll for damage on your chill touch, please. Why? Because you've hit someone else. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I mean, you've rolled a nat one on your aiming skills. Seven. Uh, John Axel stares up at you, taking seven damage, and says, Can you please look where you aim your shit? Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to Nazim. Okay, okay. I'm going to attempt to go around Wolfgang, uh, past Jalaxal, uh, to the upper side of the enemy. The circuitous route, yes. Yeah. Look, look um, I got William's aiming path. Good luck. <laughs> well, yeah. And then I'm going to attempt to. Is he still recovering HP with his hands in the air, or is that just. No, no, he part? does that once each time. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to attempt to put two daggers into his back. Uh, the first one is a 12. Uh, you should be rolling at advantage because you're behind him yep. and flanking. Okay, so I mean, just uh, it's because he hasn't got line of sight of you, that should also be sneak attack. <clears throat> well, it's a sneak attack just because he's engaged with other yeah. combatants. Yep. So yeah, he's flanked as hell. Um, do, do you understand how the sneak attack works? No. You get to um, buttfuck him. Can somebody briefly explain what he needs to roll to do damage with a sneak uh, attack? Once per turn, when you hit someone that's either can't see you because you're hidden, is engaged with combat with another guy, or there's some other things that can hit it. Basically, anytime you hit an enemy that's engaged with someone else, you like sneaking up on them and flanking them, and you get to roll a whole bunch of other d6s in damage. How many is a whole bunch? Uh, that depends on your level. At level four, I think it's two or three d6. But this is only for damage, correct? So when you yeah. go to your actions, uh, if you scroll down, it will say sneak attack. So you okay, roll... so I would do that on my bonus. So you roll an advantage to hit. If you hit, you then roll your sneak attack damage on top of your standard damage. Okay, yes. so my first one was a 12. That was a miss, correct? Yeah, uh, but you get an advantage, so make a second roll. Okay, 23. That hits. Right now it's 2d6. Okay, and that's going to be 10 and... Then roll the 2d6 as well. 10 and then 10, so 20. Hey, at this point, the vampire is looking very disheveled. I still have one more you do. dagger. Yep. I get the advantage on this one, You don't too, sneak so attack with both, though, so yeah. Okay, so that's okay. Nope. Once per turn. Ah, yep. oh, okay. Once per turn. Okay, yeah. yeah, that is a nine. Okay, so unfortunately, your second dagger is uh, lodged in the side of his cloak. Um, and that brings us to Kalefi. Unless you would like to move at the end of your turn. Also, I would like to hide behind him as well at the end. Are you, are you hide? That brings us to the left. Okay, I'm going to um, loop around somewhere where I have an uh, appropriate line of sight. And it's I'm fair to say get you right can... up. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get right up close to him as well. Why not? Let's let's just get right in the fray. Uh, and I'm going to try to firebolt him straight in his goddamn vampiric face. Yeah, well, it. That is a 20. That hits. And damage is going to be a 5. That is a 10. Um, because it's fire damage. And at this point, he is sort of almost you know, rocked to the ground. And that brings us to mm -hmm. Wolfgang. Ooh. We have a very low uh. hit point vampire, or at least he appears to be very wounded. I will make another great weapon attack yep. against him. So that's a uh, twelve plus five is a twelve. Uh, does a sixteen to hit work? I will use my bardic inspiration to boost it. Does an eighteen hit? That hits. That's a three plus nine. Three plus, plus it, you smash your great sword and potato him. Um, Excellent. As the uh, as the vampire crumbles into the dust, a humongous dragonborn. Oh, Heather doesn't know where they are. Humongous armor, um, sort of comes down the path to the left, charges into the room, and goes, "What is going on in here? The noise! 
Look at who the Friend. fuck are you? I am who the fuck are you? Brother of Vivian, who is the stealer of Oreos. Who's Vivian? Well, don't stop it. We've talked about this. Who's Vivian? Vivian is my sister, and she is missing. Oh my I've seen her, and I hold up a poster. I see. You come to rescue your sister, have you? Oh. He, uh, oh, yes. He dashes, Do you know where she is? He dashes towards Wolfgang, and he swings. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. That hits. I'm not going to ask what it hits. It hits. Uh, dealing... 38 to hit. 27 <laughs> slashing damage. Is that hit? That's not half. It can't be. Uh, no, that is not half. <laughs> so you and your rage would take. Hmm. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. He then 13. he then There's swings. You round down on numbers. Uh, he then swings out towards. Let me check it. He then swings out towards Kalefi, dealing. Here, give me my Oreos. <laughs> Twenty-one. I and I say, Fuck bitch, I have a response to that hellish rebuke. Okay. That's going to be 14 fire damage. He laughs at you. Um, he then 20, makes... How much damage? Uh, he did 21 to you. Okay. He then swings out a jarl axle. Healing. Forty-eight damage. Galaxel turns to you all and says, This enemy is beyond you, beyond us all. And then he says, Good luck, guys. I'll catch you as soon as I can. At this <clears> point, <throat> he uh, he grabs hold of this humongous dragonborn, and they both sort of whoop, disappear in a bright blue light. And, uh, what the fuck leaving was that? Oh, okay. crumbled, leaving a crumbled vampire on the floor next to you. Uh, consider your battle oh. over. Uh, uh, I am feeling I very I'm beat up, guys. This is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it just a little bit now. Can I just cure everything? Pretty much. Um, Dude, don't even roll! I, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is fair to say that you are in a situation where you are in an empty room. Um, if you would like to take the time for Vivian to heal you, you may as well just rest. Okay, well, while oh, they're yeah. resting, can I look around the room? Of course you can. You can all look around the room. Just hold me a second oh, while I restore. Oh, also, life. while we're resting, I am going to search the downed vampire for any treasures. Okay, on the vampire, you find a strange feather, a dagger, a pouch of gold, and a silver ring. Luna. Oh, I don't have infinite spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> You also don't need to actually cast Identify every time. You I can know. just do an Arcana check. Okay, tell you what, hand, hand the ring over here. Let's see if I can, uh, I'll, Let's see if oh, I can tell what this is. I'm going to hand the dagger to Kalef. Okay, uh, is this dagger magical? They all three items glisten with me. Can I take a look at that feather, please? Fine. Uh, sure, I will hand the feather to I you. I will. Yeah. Give can me I the see the feather? Um, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bear with me. Kalefi has the dagger. Yes. William has the feather. Mm -hmm. And Luna has the ring. And Luna has the ring. One by one, Kalefi, Arcana check, please. That would be a 14. It's a dagger of venom. Oh. William, Arcana check, please. That's an A. You're aware the item is magical. Great. Can I, Can I the try again? <laughs> <laughs> um, Luna. I pass it to Wolfgang. Do we have any other ones that we need to look at? <laughs> you have a ring. And immediately regret it. <laughs> Would you like to do an arcana have... check on the ring? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Uh, there will be a second. I, I currently do not know what the ring is. I'm just going to make my own... <laughs> I'm just going to make my own... Di uh, my, my own identify, because I've just accidentally closed the tab. I would love to be able to see what its dagger of enemies, but 
D and D Beyond's been a little bitch. Okay, so it is a <laughs> dagger that gives you plus one to bonus attack and damage rolls. Um, you can use an action to coat the blade with poison that lasts one minute or until an attack using this weapon hits a creature. That creature must succeed on a DC 15 constitution saving throw or take 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for one minute. The dagger can't be used again until the next dawn. In that way. <clears throat> DC 15 constitution saving throw, yeah? Uh-huh. Hi. Interesting, interesting. Uh, how, d how would you like having this weapon? How's that true for you? Uh, I'm just going to check this to my card. Would you like to make your uh, arcana check? 22. Uh, you discover it is a ring of freedom of movement. Oh, but Wolfgang has the feather now, not me. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like to tickle William in the nose with the feather. Would be fine. Would really like to identify? Okay. <laughs> Bring a free action. Can I try? I'm really yes, good at this. I think I that's the name of the. I think it's called free action. Yeah. It, it bestows freedom of movement. Does tickling William have any effect on the feather? Because that's how I would think. Well, I mean, I don't know the effect on William, but uh, suddenly on you, it is a. Uh... Stop it. <laughs> Do I feel lighter or something? Oh, not really. No. I give William back the feather. Actually, no, I don't give the William back the feather. I kind of tuck it behind his ear. <laughs> I take the ear. Can I try again on my arcana kind of check? Um, um, I think it's fair to say you should probably let somebody else give it a go. Uh, do you mind if I take a look? Sure. I can pass it over. Make your I mutter to myself, fucking dice. I pat William on the head. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I struggle with this too. <laughs> okay, how do I do with having a look at this feather? Can I tell no, anything about it? Start with an check. Wow, that's a six. You also it's are now Christ aware that my bad luck is feather. rubbing off on everyone. <laughs> well, I can't tell what this is. I've Let's never pass seen it around this the room, and we'll do everyone. Our friend Luna is really good at this. <laughs> Wait, could Vivian no. identify it from being a spectral thing? She could cast identify, but she wouldn't be able to do an arcana. I'm assuming as a cleric, she's not able to have an identifier. Heather, you're spell. muted. You, Heather. Heather's know. muted. There you go. That's a no. I know. No. I got cookies. <laughs> I don't have an identifier. <laughs> no identify <laughs> spell. Um, would you like to have a look around the rest of the room? Perhaps uh, something might assist. Or maybe it not, might not. Okay, sure. I'll look around the room. What's okay. in the room? So as you you are now moving into the second room, correct? Because in the first room, it was just sheer uh, open room, uh, columns along either side of the room. Sure. Okay. Um, and if you step around this side, uh... um, you see a long table for dining um, with various plates, bowls, cups across the table. And in the back of the room is a sort of table covered in bottles and various food artifacts. Okay, can we just take a second here quickly? Uh, what, what, does anybody here have any use for this dagger? No. You? I, mean, I, 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 I can use it, I'm just asking if anybody else would like to use it I first. Anyone else here can really I, use I think, I think I'd be very happy to just give it to you. I don't really want yeah. to use this dagger, personally. We'd I got really that dagger from earlier that I'm, I intend to use to cut apples with and sit on a porch. That's oh about all. Yeah, I I'm not using a dagger before. of venom to cut apples. Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll just hand. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll just hand Nazim this dagger. Just yeah, yeah, take it. Like, okay, uh, I will take that gracefully. Kalafi, can I have the feather back, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, take your feather back. I can't tell what this is, so uh, sorry. Uh, no luck. With, with the feather, I walk over to the back table. Uh, can I see what kind of things? There's um, various piles of bread, um, some cheese, a large ham hock. Um, sort of, this was recently eaten meal. And that's the only two things that are in the room? Yeah, there's just a table at the back with food on it. Did you say there was the something in there that might be able to help? Nice I said fresh. you could have a look and see if there was something that might help. It is uh, nice so and fresh and very edible. I would like to eat some of this food. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take a seat, whoa. take a munch. 
Um, no, I'm not sitting down. What do you think I am? Civilized? I'm just going to stand there and eat while standing next to the table. Is it fair to say, guys, that you would like to take a some time to recover, recuperate, and eat? Yeah, short rest sounds good. In that eight. case, we just shall also points. take a short break. Um, we will take five and return shortly. Um, so see you in 20. Oh, five. Uh, during the break, our party have leveled up from their defeating of a vampire. They are now uh, having had a, a brief repast with some lovely food, uh, sitting there counting out the gold from the vampire, finding 306 gold pieces and some more gems for Luna to cast more identify spells in the future. He has also identified the feather as the Qual's feather token of anchor, which gives him the ability to stop a ship. Other than that, you guys are set to go. Did Vivian manage to level in time? She's buttering bread. That's fine. She'll be okay. Oh. She can level as soon as she has time. There's no rush. You level when you're ready. Um, also, we are currently dealing with sign language. Avocado toast. <laughs> Basic. I, uh, I, oh, thought, um, I managed to summon my familiar. Ah, yes. So, uh, also, a uh, during the level up, um, William took the ritual of find familiar and has discovered himself a bat. Oh, can I, 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 summons that bat, I shudder in fear. Can um, I, um, channel for my familiar as well? I haven't done it before because sure. I thought I need the materials and shit for it. But... Channel your find familiar, what do you discover? Uh, a relatively small hawk. Small orc? Say, hawk. Say, like, a piss roll. <laughs> what the hell? What's like, what is this? <laughs> It's a really not familiar. Um, yes, okay, you have a fork. Um, would you like to name your familiars, please? Do I need um, to Sure. He's called... Billy. Kaka. Oh, need some assistance. <laughs> um, Kaka. Billy the Bat. Um, and Palefi? Billy the Bat. Ah, uh, I, I need a minute. I I need, I need to think of a name here. Shit. Okay, Henry cool. the Hawk. Uh, for now, we should, you have a hawk and a bat, and you will consider their names in the near future. And it like flutters around in a circle above me. Hey, Wolfgang is shuddering. Um, I say, don't worry, it's not the vampire, or at least not yet. It's going to evolve, is it? Maybe. I'm gonna reach. Okay, so is there any fruit or something on the table? Yes, plenty. I will Two melons, cut a, a small grape. portion of fruit out, and I'm holding it up to the bat, and I'm like, friend? Um, is it that type of bat? Billy the bat. <laughs> Billy! Um, <laughs> uh, 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 comes and nibbles on the on the food. Oh, oh it's a mega bat. Nice. Oh, well done, Julian, for your level. Excellent. Um, okay. So here you are. You see an ascending staircase of rich stone. Um, with an ornate gold embellished wooden banister running up the right hand side of it. And then nope, first thing first, I'm casting a spell. Oh, what are you casting? Casting major armor on myself. Okay. Well, oh, awesome. and we um, identified the uh, feather. What yeah, we it? did. Yes. Qual's feather of token of anchor. Uh, it can bring any ship to a standstill and hold it in place. Uh, luck finding uh... a use for that. You're lucky that last oh, one is shit. a port town. Shit, what was the gold we got too? Sorry. I uh, missed really, that. 61 pieces of gold each. 61. Sounds like a strictly worse immovable rod. Mm. How is Wait, your immovable got rod doing? We, we got 61 oh, it's gold. Yeah, you got 61 it's gold. the best back scratcher ever. And then the ring is the ring of free and Obviously, action. it is, yes. It is worth reminding you at this point that uh, Hadvar slash Jarlaxle is gold. Portal out. Hadvar no longer exists, so at least Hadvar. Yes, Hadvar never The artist existed. formerly known as Hadvar. Yes. No longer exists. Off Hadvar. Okay, so. Is there anything that's written that we haven't discovered yet? I mean, you can only see the two tables. One is a large table covered in fruit and meat, and I would assume as Volkan has been working his way through the large I'm not going to stop eating until we leave fog. this room. Um, he's probably seen everything on the food table. As for the main table, there are plates, bowls, cups, glasses. It's fairly easy to see at a glance that that is all there is. Are there any candles on this table? 
There is, however, a Damn. large candelabra hanging from the ceiling. It is approximately 18 foot above you. You know damn well I'm gonna stand on this table and jump for that candle offer to try and get some candles. <laughs> okay, make an athlete, make an acrobatic step, young wolf thing. Nope. I uh Hey, make a deck save. That's easy. <laughs> oh, that's like a billion. A billion, okay. Uh you, you cut it to the four, but roll neatly back to your feet. Okay, I'm gonna let Wolfgang attempt to throw me up at it. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to do the cheerleader thing where I put my hands together and one, two, three, we toss. Make a strength check at advantage. Two. Oh. Well, I need what? to jump off of him too. Because I'm still going to jump as well. Okay, um, Nazim, make a sleight of hand check. That is a 22. With hands nimbler than a cat, and Nazim gathers to himself 11 candles. Cool. They, they are, are they were unlit at the time. They're what? They were all unlit wolf. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on <laughs> fire at this point. Um, 11 candles to Wolfgang. Where are you storing your 11 candles? Three magical nut and uh, braces of. Well, you're wearing your braces, I assume. Um, I have a, and a dagger and Okay. You've got a backpack full of nothing but candles, nuts, and dagger. Candles, rope, and a movable rod. <laughs> nuts and a dagger. Nuts. Beautiful. No, the dagger's in my belt. Okay, okay. and I'll some potions, my belt. I believe? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's potions in there uh, somewhere. Yeah. Okay, before we leave this room, I'd like to gather my rope that I tried to tie the vampire down with. Yep. Yeah. All right, now that we've done all this, I'm going to look for the, uh, th the lever in the side of the room. That lowers the thing so sensible people can get the candles and light the candles. The crankshaft is <laughs> unlocated. <laughs> I cannot find the crankshaft whatsoever. Perhaps the uh, magical nature of the inhabitants might give you a hint as to how the candle is usually lowered. It's more magic. Well, everything isn't magic. Just because you don't understand it. <laughs> Come on, Wolfgang, let's go look at this and figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to... Can you tell um, them how to do it? Uh, no, no, the crankshaft right. really isn't present. It, it really does oh, look okay. like it is lowered by some form of levitation, or somebody goes up a ladder. See, huh. sometimes it okay. is magic. Sometimes ladders are magic. <laughs> sometimes you get one of those really long sticks out with another candle on the end of it, and that's how you do stuff. The back left corner of the room, propped up against the edge of the stairs, is a wooden ladder. Well... Can I take the ladder with make an me. Make an intelligence check. Oh, God. Easily. <laughs> oh, no. Twelve. You have discovered that the ladder is not. Nope, magical ladder. It is, ladder. however, eleven foot tall and approximately two foot wide, and though you could lift it, you would not easily be able to carry it with you. Well, I guess up to the next floor we go. Listen, uh, I will, I will anyway. take an action to uh, temporarily dismiss my familiar. Yep. Pocket dimension. Yep. I want to set the ladder up on the table and see if it then reaches the candle opera. <clears throat> I would like to just check the stairs for any obvious trap. Okay, uh, make an investigation check for these Nazim. Wolfgang, you are standing. Oh, this is a freestanding ladder. What exactly are you leaning it against? No, oh, it's not a like fold out one. No. no. <laughs> Listen, I'm picturing a folding ladder. Wait, you think an 11 foot ladder is too heavy to carry? Too heavy to carry with you easily. No. You would have a hard time swinging an axe or making it through a short door of uh, narrow I never doorway. said I was going to carry it while fighting people. I could set it down. You want to carry a ladder with you? Use it to whack people. Yeah, what if the ladder's my new weapon of choice? I Nazim, now have reach. Nazim, Simple you disable... weapon with a 15-foot range. Uh, Nazim, you find <laughs> no traps. However, the fourth step up is oiled. It is slick. Is it baby oil? No. Black and tarish. Hmm. Maybe lamp oil. I was going to say... Lamp oil. Lambable. Rope. Walking, isn't that... Bombs. Hard? It's yours, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna walk up the stairs. I'm gonna avoid the fourth step. I'm gonna walk over it, step over it, and then continue upstairs. 
to find yourselves on Hello, the next floor of the dungeon. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> so many rooms. Too many cool. So many As you rooms. enter the room, you find yourself emerging into a dark study with dusty desks. The floor-to-ceiling bookcases are from the left-hand side wall. Uh, a cloaked halfling is hiding in the corner of the tree. Um, are there any torches? There are. There is torch sconces on the wall, uh, both uh, to the right-hand side and at the wall sort of above where the stairs are. Is this uh, a halfling okay. hiding? Well, Press Both that. of us. Yep. Just so wow, <laughs> <Wolfgang. laughs> the halfling hiding, or just there? You can see him. He's cowering. Oh. Oh. Hello, friend. How are you? Hi. Uh, are, you, are you with the big dragonborn? No. Dragonborn mm -hmm. smell funny. We don't like them. Did, it have, did you fight him? Yes. You're speaking. And you're alive. You must be very powerful. Of course. I am mighty. Who are you? My name is Fredegar Fleetfoot. Uh, most people call me Fred. I come from Lonelywood. I only came exploring for some treasure. Regis sent me here. He thought there might be something to discover. But it's been nothing but a nightmare. There's been undead everywhere. And... Is the way out clear? Uh, debatable. Yeah, what about Kelly? Uh, kind of, Freddy. You can try and run off. I, I'm a sneaky fellow. I just... The, the, the scary wizard with the black cloak was... I, trying to get me, and I, I ran, and then there, he summoned oh, me undead, like and then, then there was the humongous. I, do, I think they called him Shank, the huge, uh, the huge dragonborn guy. They were calling him Shank, and this horrible man came through. He was a sort of an evil-looking sorcery dude, and he was he was carrying a woman over his shoulder, and then uh, and he's, I, I wait, just want to go wait, home. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, that Which way did he go? Did the woman look like this? And I told up a Vivian. That's booster. her. That's her. That's the girl. They had her. They Where went did through they that go? door, and he points to the door directly behind him. I'm going to immediately try and open that door. The door swings wide open. Huh. Come on, guys. Uh, Maybe it's okay. this way. Well... Is the way uh... clear, sir? <laughs> yeah, um... you can you can go back down. Just don't go into any of the rooms. I, I set up in Luscan. If if you if you come by uh, in Luscan, look for me at the Cutlass Tavern, um, and I, I I'll be able to repay you for saving me. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, one word of warning for you. One word of warning for you. One of the stair, one of the stairways is a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. That was me. Not a stairway anymore. That was me. <laughs> That's exactly I was, what I was, I was just trying to. I was just trying to protect myself from anybody following up. I wanted to hear a crash if somebody came, but you guys, obviously, you know, being mighty and powerful, you've you've managed to avoid it, and uh, so I didn't hear you coming, but it was there just in case. I needed to be alerted if I needed to run well, again. Just be careful Just through there, though. Be, be careful, careful through the there. There's a, there's a horrible caster dude. He's been doing rituals in that room. And he points behind him to the room. Uh, rituals? Learnable rituals? <laughs> horrible, horrible necromancy magic -y things. Nothing I would ever want to deal with. And he dashes down the stairs. His name was Frank. Be careful. For those of you who didn't catch him. Did we hear a fud because he fell on the oil? No, he put the oil there. He knows it's there. Yeah, but you said he dashed down there. No, 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 no. He was a halfling, by the way. Um, and no, he has he has left uh, quite clearly with his green cloak touching around. Um, there are some dusky desks behind where he was hiding, and the floor ceiling bookcases on the left. It's Frederica Fleetwood, right? Uh, Fredegar, yes. You can call him Fred. So that's how he will be referred to from now on. And he's uh, a guy. He's a denizen of Luska. Can I get a uh, he's, no, name? He's a, that person like he's, spelled uh fredegar which i will spell in the chat for you this is fredegar Fleetwood. um he is a denizen of lonelywood however he trades in luscan and is where he is ah, he will meet you in the right country. okay lonelywood is in the ten towns up to the north in icewind dale oh that's quite a way it is it is where regis is from. wow he was friends with but does regis have a cohort named kelly as far as i know <laughs> I missed the joke. What it did. Um, anyway, so yes, uh, well, those of you who are squad. in the room, you are in the room. Uh, Wolfgang, you walk through the first door, is that correct? Oh, yes. Okay. I have heard my sister says, like, Vivian, where As you are open you? open the door, you see two young children chained to the wall on the left, clearly dead. And in the center of the room is a pentagram with a ritual pedestal with two smoking skulls upon it. A desk nearby is smattered with various scrolls and papers. Um... And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all you can see in this room. It's clearly a summoning chamber of some sort, or 
room for doing nasty necromantic things. Guys, I don't think they're doing good stuff in here. Like, I don't like children either, but I wouldn't kill them. So you're standing in the doorway at this point, right? This... I'd probably walk through to look around. This is horrendous, by, even by my standards. This is truly... So you're all moving through the door, or any of you remaining? Uh, I'm walking room? through the door. How long uh, have yeah, been... I'm going in. How long have these dead children been here? Like, is that a horrible smell? Or... No, that you can see that they're relatively recently dead, perhaps today. Wow. Oh, I probably would have tried to ask them if they know where Vivian is. Kalefi, you said by your standards. Make an intelligence what are your check, please, okay? Well, considering I tolerate the lives of... What was considering that? I tolerate the lives of thieves and tough... One. One? Uh, you, yep. uh, you find yourself engaged in a long conversation with the dead children. <laughs> Yourself Excuse distracted. me, ha have you seen my sister? And I'm going to go through enough, all six respond. words and languages that I know. Okay. Um, Kalefi, you asked something? Yeah, uh, just in response to William. Uh, considering, you know, I tolerate the like some of the likes of thieves and other such um, ruffians and vagabonds and, you know, like less, less than savoury people, you see some, um, you see some things, you see some things, but this, this goes far, far above and beyond even the worst that we see. This is, um, yeah, this is really particularly heinous. Did any of you remain in room one? I'm, I'm not, no. You're not? No. Okay. I moved on with everyone. Okay, sorry, James. Could you tell me what was in the room again? So, as you stand in the uh, entranceway, let's put you all... Uh, here we go. As you stand here, uh, to your left mm -hmm. are two children chained to the wall, possibly of human descent. Um, yeah, yeah. As you look over to your right, there is a large desk with smattered scrolls upon it. Um, mm -hmm. And to the right and along this wall are empty, and, are empty manacles. You see a door to your far right. <laughs> Okay, I'm um, going to beeline straight towards the scrolls. Me too. <laughs> okay, make an investigation Rachel. check, please, Kalefi. Investigation. That would be a 13. Okay, you find two scrolls and a note. The note says, orders in large letters. Okay, what else does it say? I know that. It says, you must extract the souls from these children within the day or they will be useless to us. He's... Innocent children, Vala wants are not the easiest to find, so don't fail me this time. And then it's signed Shik. Okay, whoa. You are also holding two large scrolls. Um, they appear to be magical in nature. Okay. Uh... Hold there. William, can you make an investigation check, please? Okay. Uh, 16. Uh, lodged in between two books, you find two more scrolls. Also, clearly magical in nature. Okay, I'd like to cast Identify. Or... Would you like to make an well, Arcana check first? Both of them, but... Make an Arcana check first. Can I do the <gasps> same for my scrolls oh, as well? Yay, yeah, you make an Arcana check. Okay, William, you oh, are holding God, a scroll of Project digit. Image and a scroll of Animate Dead. Kalefi, you are... So, William, you are holding one scroll of Project Image and one scroll mm -hmm. of Animate Dead. Halefi, okay. you are holding one scroll of Fireball and one scroll of Contagion. Uh, Mr. Hale, would you like to do a swap for the scroll of Fireball? For? What scroll would you like to give up for a Fireball? Uh, okay, mine was Animate Dead and... Project Image. I'll give you Project Image. Project image could be um, rather useful. Let me just check the list of spells I possess. You do not have project image. Yeah, I thought so. Spell. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll do the trade fireball for that, that if that's okay with you. <laughs> Best trade of all time. <laughs> Especially if you can already cast fireball. <laughs> that's exactly why I was trading it. Yep. Okay. Um, so that is uh, sort of the desk you have, you've now sort of realised. There's a couple of books up the top, but they look like notes of accounts. Um, nothing of any interest. The desks are otherwise empty. Um, you are now sort of in the centre of the room. The pentagram is to your north.
Anyone? So, the scrolls. Oh, yeah, I'm just, just adding the scrolls. Down. I'm just checking the levels. Well, that leaves us Luna, Nazim, and Wolfgang. Uh, Wolfgang is currently engaged in a thrilling conversation with two dead children. So, Nazim mm -hmm. and Luna, either of you are sitting about? Uh, I'm going to go directly forward from the door we walked through. Yep. Um, and what do I see? Yes. Aha! We have a Nazim. Um, so as you look into the room 2A, as we have labelled it here, um, you see a line of desks. Um, sort of, uh, each desk has an inkwell, a quill, and sort of a, a blank, uh, from what you can see from the entrance, a blank bit of paper on the, in the centre. Um, to the, at the very back is a table with lots of decanters. Um, so this is the back over here on this side. Um... And at the south end of the room, again, is one long table, again, smattered in. And maybe a couple of bottles. Is that a door I see? Or what is that? Yeah, yeah this entrance here, you can... Uh, from your angle, you wouldn't be able to see the door. You would only be able to see that there is a large gap for an entrance. Okay, uh, guys, guys. Uh, we've got more things over this section and what looks to be some sort of passageway. Oh. Sounds more useful. Yeah, well, He's well, really shy. Fine. I'll head over to Nazim and wave goodbye to uh, the children. I don't walk over. Really shy. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I is, was shy when I was. Is anyone young too. not following Nazim? Um. It was just called you. You said there were some desks there too, right? Uh, there is a in this room. There is uh, there are lines of desks, sort of uh, too wide in, or long. Two A. I look at yes, the desks in and disgust because they make me think of learning. I would like to investigate them. Okay. Uh, approach the first desk, make an investigation. That's a 20. Uh, you see a fairly badly drawn magical rune that you are able to identify as a uh, as a necromantic spell at a fairly basic level, sort of in thick wood, if you like. Um, and as you look around, each copy has also been made fairly badly, if you like. It looks like sort of a school for terrible necromancers. Does it seem like they would work? Uh, no. They are incompetently okay. drawn. That's oh. what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excuse me for a moment. Just going to grab point, tea uh, that I've had brewing. At this point, Luna, uh, you would be able to see quite clearly that you are invisible. Why are you invisible? There you go. At this point, you'd be able to see quite clearly that there is a door. Okay. I walk over to the other table to investigate it. Uh, Luna has now sort of assessed the tables. If oh, you like. both of they them are all identical. The so no, they, these are the six desks. You, would you like to look at the two main large tables? Uh, one yes. directly in front of you. Okay. As you go over, you find three beautifully looking bottles of wine and some decanters of varying uh, liquids, which uh, appear to be alcoholic in nature, and a couple of. Someone's having a party. Anyone mm. want a drink? Ooh, I like Bobo drinking. I couldn't drink things from in here. For ethereal. I video. mean, he already <laughs> ate things from downstairs. We might as well. Oh. <laughs> we might as well drink. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. What am I drinking? Well, um, no, I don't nothing. Like, I'm, I'm going to break the bottle. Do they have corks in, or are they screwed? No, I'm they breaking the bottle. I'm breaking everything apart. All of the bottles. Okay, um, how are you shattering all these bottles and glasses? I'm going to so smash so them on the ground. You're just going to throw it all to the ground. Okay. Um, well, make a dex mm. save, please, Luna. Dex save. Oh, dear. It's a 20. Okay, what are you wearing on your feet? Am I wearing on my feet? Fucking nothing. No boots? As far as I know. <laughs> I guess boots. But you are wearing boots, right? In this case, you, you uh, were you dance boots. away from your <laughs> from the piercing shards of the decanters on the floor. Um, it's fair to say each of you must be careful with your step now that Luna has covered the floor in broken glass. Oh, Luna, we can get into liquid. Anything. I'm going to lean over and smell this liquid. It's clearly alcohol. I would like to lick some off the floor. <laughs> Oh, Bottoms up. Make a constitution see, Luna, check. We can, we can get him to do uh, a constitution save. Sorry, please. Am I the only one here concerned about his safety? Sixteen. 
I mean, he looks happy. Take three piercing damage, and I'm unable to talk about the next one. shit about him being happy. I want him to not die. A better glass. Three piercing damage and what? (laughs) You're unable to talk for the next minute or so, as you are trying to remove the broken glass from the inside of your tongue. Okay, what can't I do for a minute? Sorry. Talk. 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 There is another table to the south with exactly the same sort of layout, exactly the same sort of decanter bottles. Okay, then I, I quickly uh, run sure over there my and, and pour a glass. Oh my from the god! Decanter, from the hold up, didn't Luna just break all of the I glass? Said everything okay, sorry, in the hold room. up, guys. I said hold everything. up, guys. Let's slow this back. Okay, so first of all, Luna has smashed the table <laughs> to the north, uh, smashed all the glass on the table to the north, where there is now broken glass over the floor. Um, William, however, is currently walking over to the table at the south, which Luna has not oh, no, not, not walking, running. Running so over, Luna... and you poured yourself yeah, so... a glass from the bottle <gasps> or from the decanter? I think the decanter. Okay, a pleasant taste. A pleasant oh, no, 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 from the glass. Uh-huh. I'll walk over to William. It appears to be a very expensive now. spirit. Am I the only one in this party who is concerned about the things we put in our mouths? Okay, I, no, I mean, you know, you know, my ship sailed many years ago, Luna. I'm so sorry. Um, and then I <sighs> raise the glass and I say cheers and then hand it to Wolfgang. Oh, oh my god. Go, 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 go. Wolfgang is healed. <laughs> And feels wonderfully warm inside an expensive sort of a brandy. Mm. See, Luna, it's not all that bad. Don't you want to grab it? I know, just start fucking I know. I know you secretly do. I wouldn't that bad if I didn't lick up glass shards. <laughs> <laughs> well, the alcohol Luna. might heal your tongue a bit better. That's fine. Luna, I'm where did we find these idiots? No, I'm not drinking. Come on, We're in the middle of a Luna, dungeon where we could come on, die at any relax point. A bit. We could no. all use a break. Right, We're in a dungeon where we can die at any point! <laughs> a, dungeon, a dungeon where we can die at any point? We've already rested a couple of times. I think we've crossed that bridge. No, I'm not drinking shit. How much are you guys We're not drinking shit. Kalefi? Sorry, guys, alcohol. hold up. Uh, Vivian, what did you say? We're not drinking shit. We're drinking high quality alcohol. Next yeah, point. see, and listen Wolfgang? to the ghost, okay? And Wolfgang? How much more fancy brandy is in the decanter? Mm, probably about 200 milliliters. Mm-hmm. How many is that in freedom? <laughs> Not a bloody clue. Um, it's 198 freedom shots? units. Four shots. Four oh, doubles. Easily. Four doubles. We speak in shots around here. Okay. You're necking the lot? <laughs> um, I'll hold on to the decanter and sip on it slowly. I'm there, not were also two, there were also two sealed bottles. Yeah, I, I grab one of the bottles and unseal it. Um, and walk over to Clefie and I say, are you sure you don't just want one? And I've got another glass in my hand. As I'm pouring, I'm saying, are you sure you don't want one, Kalefi? It appears to be a very expensive wine. Uh, I don't know where we found you idiots, but okay, I'll have just the one. Yeah, join the idiots. I'll take the other bottle and try. Sorry, Luna. Sorry, but, you know, I've been offered. I have to. I can't. What are you doing with your bottle? Okay, so I'm going to carefully put it in my backpack with the rope around it to try and, like, brace it for impact so it hopefully won't break. I don't know if it's on the D&D website, but you've gained one rather expensive bottle of aged wine. Perhaps one might call it aged ancient fruit wine. Hey. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> um, and, uh, Kalefi, any health you had taken in damage, you have now recovered, and you are feeling warm and pleasant inside. You're self resistant to Resistant to cold. Oh, wonderful. Hey, Luna, there are many benefits of alcohol. <laughs> you sure you don't want one glass? <laughs> I'm going to Eldritch Blast this bottle. <laughs> the one in his hand? Yep. Roll to hit. I used to like Luna. Okay. Roll to hit, please, Luna. Okay, yeah, you hit the bottle. It smashes Jeez, the pieces on oh, everybody's like hands. It. Some damage, but he's rather pissed. I'm not pissed off. I'm okay, pissed. while all this... All right. a rage. So, Nazim? Whilst all this commotion is going on, I'm going to carefully step around the glass on the floor. Yep. That's and I'm true. going to go check out the passageway that I saw you from the You see distance. the door straight away, would you like to investigate the door itself? 
what you mean. Uh, I'd like to check it for traps, please. Okay, uh, make an investigation check, please. Six. It appears to be a general wooden door. Uh, it's definitely not locked. Okay, can I open the door, please? What's your cap? Swings wide open, you see a kitchen. This is not your modern day kitchen. This is a sort of. Uh, there is an old hob stove. Um, perhaps a, a large barrel uh, that may have contained something in the past, but it's clearly now empty. Um, and a sort of long table with a wooden chopping board on it and a large meat cleaver. Okay, I'm just going to walk into the room and uh, start investigating all of the items around. Okay, um, as far as you can see, all it is is just a cleaver, a wooden board, a long table, a stove, and a uh, with one saucepan on top of it and an empty barrel. Like a butcher's cleaver or like, yeah, a, like a butcher's cleaver, butcher's cleaver. I mean, you okay. could hit someone with it and it would hurt, but it is clearly used for butchering animals. Okay, not. I'm going to pick up this cleaver, turn around and look at Wolfgang. Is this any use to you, Wolfgang? Uh, only if I'm cooking dinner. I mean, I mean, you're bringing a ladder with you to hit it's people. It's the most you intelligent want thing Wolfgang has said at all times during this entire Oh, encounter. no, I probably have forgotten the ladder. The ladder downstairs, I... yeah? I thought once no, you propped I... it up, you left it. I would have dragged it upstairs, and then I would have forgotten it while talking to the children. Or the halfling who told you where Vivian was, yeah. Um, so it's left, we've left the ladder back there, um, but you don't um, want your... Yeah, machine. yeah, the ladder's probably in room one, the halfling room. Okay, is there any cabinets in this kitchen? Nope. That is all, okay. everything I've described is everything you can see and everything you have found. Um, For once, there is no secret. I I go back into room two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that side of the room. Um, and you know the door leading to room seven? Yep. With that one. Um, I cast... Unseen Servant. Um, oh, well, tell me more, what is that? Sorry. Um, uh, the spell help. creates an invisible, mindless, shapeless medium force that performs simple tasks at your command until the spell ends. Okay. And what would you like to do with it? I ask the ser well, I don't ask him, I tell the servant um, to attempt to open the door. Okay, the first door swings open towards you and you see a second door. And I ask him to open that one too. Uh, he opens the door and is immediately slashed at. You see two thug like looking rather beefy cake men. Okay, well, the servant disappears. He is crumbled and I say, to dust. What? He's crumbled to dust at this point. They beat him up pretty quick. Well, he doesn't have a physical form. Oh, okay. Yeah, he only stops when he's finished doing what right, I told okay. him to. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, I say, hey guys. We, um, I think it's fair company. to say at this point, Nazim would not be able to hear you, but the rest of the party would. Yeah. Hey guys, we've got some company over here. I'm probably still over with Nazim in the kitchen talking about cleavers. Okay, yeah, yeah, you also went into the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so the people who would have heard that would have been Kalefi and Luna. Okay. Um It's fair to say, Kalefi and Luna, you are in a shot of Nazim and Vivi and Wolfgang as well. No. Uh, hey, you guys, uh, Wolfgang, Nazim, I think we got some trouble over here. Okay, I will follow. Trouble. I will follow the party and go and see what the trouble is. Okay, are you walking normally? Uh, I'm running, but being very careful with the broken glass on the floor. Okay, you're not uh, you're not sneaking. You're just walking. Oh yeah. Okay. And Wolfgang, are you charging recklessly? Um. No, I, I after getting the glass in my tongue, I would know to step over it. I feel like even I can learn that lesson. Brings all of you to the same place, yes? Mm, nope, um, I would say Luna is too busy, curled up in a ball, angry with everything, okay. and upset at how we're handling this dungeon and why I'm there in the dungeon. Okay, Luna is depressed with people's drinking parties <laughs> and is sad. <laughs> Luna's <laughs> mind break. <laughs> yeah. um, are you going to go through the doorway where you now see two large-looking men? Or are you um, really Well, guys, should we... Go, should we do? Uh, go do some gratuitous murder? Yeah, sure, why not? I hold up my poster and look at everyone longingly. The enemies. Not yet, Wolfgang. No, I'm looking at my friends here, because okay. they yelled at me the last time I asked friend new friends if they'd seen my sister 
Not yet, Wolfgang. Not yet. Uh, those of you who are standing in front of the doorway, make a deck save, please. Is that all of us, or...? All of us. Oof, okay, deck save. Ten. Cock, Thirteen. Ten. Has anybody rolled above a fourteen? No. Bitch. You take twelve <laughs> points of fire damage as a fireball... sort of booms around you all. Fair to say, Luna, you would hear the smoke smattering. The two, the two folks have sort of parted slightly, and behind them, you see a cloak for me. Oh fuck! Roll for an issue. Four. Oh my god! Eight. Oh sorry. This is yeah, me too. Just for a second. Right, who rolled a four? Me. Uh, Luna Shimmerfield, you are rolling a twenty-two, but are a long way out of combat. But you have heard the smashing. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I've Brilliant. got resistance to fire, so that's half damage, yes? Oh, you have resistance to cold. No, I've got oh, you have fire as well on the t -shirt. Yes, okay, yes. Um, William, your initiative? Eight. Um, Me two. Wolfgang, two or eight? Eight. Um, and Nazim? Eight. Yep, uh, okay. Uh, so then, Luna. Give me a second. Oh god! Did it? There was a second. Uh -huh. We have enemy one present doorway. Enemy two is present doorway. My doors. They have split ever so slightly. And behind them, enemy three is very much available. There is space behind these. I'm just not moving everybody across. Mm -hmm. uh, Vivian is in the, room. Uh, in the area with you. I don't know why Fluffy has gone there, but he's back. Uh, so that brings us to Luna. It is 55 foot. Between you and your party. Hmm. You care enough to move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the I'm depression debating. is real. I'm debating what I'm doing. I guess I'll get up and start moving towards the, to see what's going on. And um, what is your movement? Thirty. Can I get to at least seeing what's going on? Your, you can get around the edge of the. From entrance, you can see, but uh, you are 20 foot, maybe 18 foot away from your party, it's fair to say, and 25 away from the enemies. And that brings us we to just... Wolfgang. Oh, sorry, Luna. Uh, I'm a, to do anything? I am a spellcaster, yeah, yeah, sir. I just realized this. <laughs> Luna, what would you like to do with yourself? Um, that is a touch spell, damn it. I would like. I see these guys, right? Uh, you see the front two, you cannot see the enemy, uh, the third enemy in the back. That's fine, I'm gonna Eldridge Blast them. Both? Uh, one of them. Right, okay. Uh, top or bottom? One or two? Uh, one. Okay. Hold the hit. Hold the hit? Yes, you do. Uh, that is a nat 20. And that is hitting. And hitting hard. We're taking him in the left eyeball. Where's your damage? He takes a nice 14 damage to the face. Um, I think it's fair to say we uh, he's taken 14 damage, but he's also visually impaired on his right hand. Uh, I fucking hate this place! God damn it! That brings us to Wolfgang. Um, I will take my axe, and I will do a great weapon strike as the one that Luna just shot in the, the eyeball. Doorway? Huh? You're stepping into the doorway, yes? Yeah. Okay, it is fair to say that at this point, you would be blocking the doorway. Would you like to step further forward so that you're in between oh, the enemies? Um, shit. Uh, or you have yeah, to I'll block the step forwards a little bit more so that I'm like. <laughs> I forgot so to you would find yourself side, both sided at this point. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Um, uh, you're hitting the one enemy one, yes? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Okay, so oh that's my god! A natural twenty <laughs> on somebody who is currently visually impaired. So I think it's fair to say that it's coming at the right hand side of his face and it's crunching hard. Yeah, so that's 
4 plus 10 is 14. Twice plus 9 is 23. Plus 10 is 33 damage. I mean, that flies up. Like, would you want to re roll the base? Oh. Um, as I said, roll an advantage for damage. Oh, twice yeah, sure. Like, yeah, you're crunching that's in a... somebody who's half blind with a nat 20 hit. That's a. This poor that's guy. two more damage. So that is the damage you need. Damage. There we go. Oh, you wow. shatter his face and you were one short the first time. Ooh, you shatter ooh, ooh. his face and then he crumbles to um, the ground. Um, I think I have a thing. I think I have a you thing. You have a thing, I believe. When your turn, when you score a critical hit, reduce or reduce a creature to zero with one, you bonus can action. make one melee weapon as a bonus action. Yeah, yep. I will take a swing at the other guy. Sorry, let me just. And it's going to be another great weapon swing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a 17 plus a whole bunch. Uh, 17 plus 5. It hits. It's like 23 to hit. Yep. I like to imagine the way he dies is Wolf uh, King starts swinging his axe at him. And oh, you're my right. elders rest. Oh, Sorry. So I like to imagine the way that guy dies is uh, as my Eldritch Blast is getting to him, Wolfgang swings through it at the same time and hits him at the same time with the blast. Right, he's gone through the he's gone through the blind eye, right? And he's crunched all the way down through his face. And yep. Yeah. Twenty six to hit the other one. Yep. It is. yep. Or, sorry, twenty six damage. Twenty six damage. Yeah. He, yes. he looks ouched. Yeah, ouched. These great weapon swings are pretty um, good. And that that's a description, all right? Um, okay. I would like to uh, cast Eldritch Blast on the mage. Would you like to step in and slightly to the right so that you don't risk hitting Wolfgang in the back of the neck? Sure. <laughs> oh, sure, now you worry about me. <laughs> uh, yep, uh, roll to hit. 20. And only one person in this party is ever worried about you. <laughs> uh, 15. 15. It thunders into his throat. Um, he looks ouched as well. Um, that brings us to, unless you are moving for the rest of your turn. Into his throat, does it silence him? No, no, no. He's, he, he can still... Oh, man. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just damaged. Um, okay, that... uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Brings us to Caliph. Okay. Uh, so this may this wizard top looking type at the back. Uh, is there anything distinctive about him that I can see that, or he's wearing a blue cape with golden stars upon it? He is. Uh, he has long blonde hair. He is clearly human. Um, he has very human. dark red eyes, however, which are very slightly un um or inhuman. I um, and he's looking really pissed off and slightly in pain. I wish I could have used this on him, but I have to go for something else based on the circumstance. So I shall do this something else. Uh, let's go for a scorching ray. Uh, two at the wizard and one at the other guy. Um, I'm going to say that uh, roll to hit all three from the, on the mage first. Okay. Uh, first one was a 13. Yep. Uh, the second one hit roll was a 14. Yep, that is. And the third roll is a 28. That also hits. Have to roll down. Yeah. Yep. First one's damage is an 8. Oh. I oh. just learned something. Oh. oh. oh I have an extra attack now. Yeah, you do. Um. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> and again. Second roll I've never seen seven. this before. Okay, uh, after the first two hits, the mage is looking incredibly wounded. I'm assuming you would like to direct the third hit. Uh, no, I'm going to direct the third hit into the um, into the guy that I originally said the okay. fighter was still not dead. Uh, what was your third hit roll? Eight. The third hit roll. Oh, hit roll. Uh, the hit roll was like 20-something. Okay. okay. 28. Uh, he, he, was, he was damaged. He wasn't, you know, in massive amounts of pain. Um, but he's now in a bit more, and he's got his hair is beginning to cut. Um, and that brings us to okay. Azim. Okay, what's the distance between the wizard and the other enemy? Four foot. 
Okay, so in theory, with my arm span, if I had them out wide, I could probably achieve four foot, right? Yeah, I could head because okay. in the middle. Okay, I'm going to step in the middle of both of them, and one dagger in each hand, I'm going to jab them into Okay, at this point, you would be backstabbing the uh, the fighting enemy, but you would be face-to-face, -face effectively, with the wizard, so consider your okay. sneak attack on the on enemy two. Okay, so I'm going to be using my vicious dagger, too. This is going to be hitting on the wizard. Yep. And that is going to be a 17. That hits. Okay, and then the damage is also going to be eight. Okay, uh, that uh, sunders his uh, throat to pieces. Um, you have murdered him viciously. He has fallen to the ground dead. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to, to do my other attack on the enemy that I am currently yep. sneak attacking. That's a 21 to that hit. That is definitely hitting. Okay, so it's going to be, let me roll my sneak attack damage, which is 11, mm -hmm. plus uh, 10, so 21 damage. Uh, you have to see on the dagger also do something. Uh, no, that's only if I use my action on it. Oh, I really fucked up. This leaves this, uh, this <laughs> what fighter. What else did you miss? This fighter with his savage attacks. Heel has now oh. fallen to the ground and he's really sort of, he's lulling back in pain. And that brings us to Vivian. I'm going to take my bonus action oh, sorry, yeah, to yeah. retreat as well. Team of I would like to go just north. So, how is my team looking? Your team is looking fairly... All of them took a bit of a blast from a fireball. Okay. Um, but other than that, they're looking... Is they're all okay? standing. All standing. So, can I... So cure wounds says. If you refresh up on the um, stream, uh, Heather, you're actually able to see the right. Um. Oh, did you guys not deal your fire dam Bible damage yourselves? I did. did. I did. I'm 22. I think it just never updates. I was more specifically, looking for Luna. Luna was why, close. Would I Luna was oh, oh you went there. Oh. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was a wall in between yeah. me and the fire. <laughs> They're, all <laughs> They're all correct. They're all correct. Okay. <laughs> Refresh. Um, it's like, what? So, uh, Nazim and William are looking fairly damaged. So, Cure Wounds says I have to touch somebody, but I'm in ethereal form, so yeah, I'm not fine. doing you do, that. You, you could easily glide to them, cast, and glide away. Okay. So, I would like to Cure Wounds on William Hale. Okay. Um, yeah, cast away. As I said, cast that at your highest spell, spell casting level. Yeah. Holy shit. Jesus. That is a heal and a half. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, that's a 28. Um, Thanks, Viv. That's a big Love your hair. Hope you win. Okay. Uh, Find this... my fucking body. Uh, this... <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> this uh, fighter attempts to flee to the south. Oh, easily Oops. taking an attack. Who, who wants the... Uh... Yeah. Hold on, who has the higher initiative? It is you. Uh, yeah, you first. If you can do two uh, damage. <laughs> ooh, let's see if I can hit him with a 15. Oh. You swing, but he's already out of your range. Nazim, would you like to make an attack of opportunity? Uh, wait, what? Could I recklessly no, Nazim wasn't close. Huh? Nazim retreated. Yeah, I retreated. Well, I'm nowhere near him. Okay, the room was very small. You could only get a couple of foot away. Oh, okay, then the sure, I'll take an opportunity yeah, to do that. You're only two foot back. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh. I, I, I forgot that we changed to the this map, so you don't realize that the room has a wall in it. Um, okay, yeah. so my opportunity to attack is a 25. That's hitting. <laughs> he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's, he's dead. Very dead. Uh, uh, eight damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, you've sundered him to the ground. Um, Bitch! Dead, dead. Go with me a second. Let us battle. Hold up, this is my first... Is it per combat or per turn? Because I'm also going to do an extra 10 damage, just to make sure he's really he's, dead. He's not only dead, but his arm has just fallen off. <laughs> I'm also gonna carve. I'm also gonna carve like a like an N in his head, like Zoro, but for Nazim. Sideways, <laughs> <laughs> right? An N dripping with poison. I, uh, for future, I don't think you can sneak attack as a reaction. Did you or not? Oh yeah. wow, that was fun anyway. Yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, 
You, I'm fairly sure I you can make a sneak attack on a dead enemy regardless of what turn it is. So... <laughs> they all have a sneak attack. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yes, you I now know. find yourself uh, standing over three corpses. I walk over to the mage to see what he's got on him. Um, he is... Hold, around his neck is a large, glistening, golden. Um, he also has a, as I said, a dark blue robe with uh, some stars on it. Um, and in his pocket is a small wand. Is the robe the same as my robe? No, no this is a very... It, it, the, the stars are not sort of... Uh, they're, they're painted on it, you know. It's the cheapskate version. <laughs> Cloak of some sort. Um, okay, um, I would like to um, take his key. Yeah. Um, and take his wand. Okay. Ooh, a back scratcher. Make check. It is a and it is a wand of identify. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you may now find your problems. Oh. <laughs> yeah, except I don't. I don't have a, a spare attunement slot. I could use that. every single wand. Yeah. Um, because I'm a yeah. I think so. Do you not? Um. Okay, so here's here's a clever thing, right? You just use them. Yeah, you just use them. Here's a clever thing, right? I'm oh, thinking okay. this wand. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. You, you do not have to attune it all the damn time. We can just you know. Well, say... no, I, I'm going to say for, for the purpose of the fact that it's a level one spell and you're quite competent as wizards. You you can just use. It. I'm okay. not fucking wizard. You don't even need to be a spellcaster to use. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ones. Um, I would say that unless you're right. Wolfgang, you'd be perfectly capable of using a one. Okay. What it's about fun. the what <laughs> about <laughs> Wolfgang can find everything as an apple. The clock. What about the what? What? <laughs> Um, what about the Wand of Web that I got last episode? Um, Can I use that freely? Yeah, I would say, I mean, not freely. It would have sort of, uh, we'll start has like, sort of three or five charges. It takes an action um, and it yeah. would regenerate uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. only if recharged by some magical purpose. The okay. Identify Wand, I think it's fair to say, will just on cool down. So just cool. use it to identify things. I'm Great, I'd like to. Away I'd the like riches to... of the whole party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is his cloak like... magical as well, or is his cloak just I'm, I'm with his alchemy check? He magic. believes it to be magical. Well, I was about to use my wand on it. On it. Use wand. Okay, that's a cloak of protection. Great, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so I stand up with. Okay, so I put the wand in my bag, and then I say, "Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> it's just to find things." to identify them and then i uh That's a handy the, back scratcher i hold the key but by the string yep. um and i, I hold the cloak um, and i say who wants protection and May. who wants to open shit oh i like opening doors <laughs> okay so i toss it to wolfgang and i toss the cloak to cleffy i try to just, like stumble a few times <laughs> <laughs> a little bit drunk um, yep, so then you have the two other uh, enemies lying down on the floor at your feet. Um, one of whom is missing an arm, and you can see another. Oh, I will take my key up to that doorway. Okay. So you cannot find a uh, keyhole. On... Can I find a doorknob? Yes. I, can open I, I, li I use the key to lift the handle. Beautiful! The door swings wide open. Um, in this room, guys, this key's the best. Um, in this room, two female elves are chained with their wrists behind them, who uh, are sitting down at the wall. And I greet you immediately. Adventurers, fair adventurers. Uh, did you kill the guards? Uh, no. Sorry, who are you? Uh, my name's Indariel. This here is Eleonora. She's my sister. Um, we we were taken captive for I think it's about four days ago. Um. And we've been held here. They've been doing horrible things to the people. We can hear them screaming. We thought we were next. Um, oh. Sorry, are we now in room six? You are indeed. Well, the whole gang is. Okay, sure, sure, sure. The rest of you are here. Um, Have you guys seen my sister? Who's your sister? My Vivian poster. Yes, yes, the gods, they took her. They took her. She oh. was in this room for two days. but They took her and they... they I don't know where... Oh. We fought them I'm very sorry. strongly, though. Uh, yeah, that's Vivian, my sister. Do you remember? Family. <laughs> 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 I couldn't remember anything about that. 
He's yeah. soul removal. I've been comatose oh, okay. this entire time. No, it was just time. the body. Wait, the body, the body was... He... Then how did the body, the body fight fought there? back strongly. Someone's hmm. being possessed. Is there any chance you could uh, cut, these, cut these bombs on us? Uh, I could try. What are they, just tied up with rope? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pull out my dagger from earlier, because... Oh, God, he's going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to end no, your I'm rage not... first? We'll go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm not raging. I never raged. Oh, you didn't rage, did you? No, okay. no. <laughs> I'm only playing. Uh, yeah. No. I, I will pull out my dagger and cut the ropes and free them. They stand, uh, and are all sort of supporting in Eleonora. Um, we're originally from the Moonwood. Do you know where the nearest uh, town is? Yeah. I don't know where we are. Yeah, me either. I don't know that. Well, it's where you <laughs> came from. <laughs> you were the one who called the other adventurers too, Lusk, and you most definitely know that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know big words. I know that way. Well, we don't know exactly where this tower even is exactly, because uh, we didn't... We got you in here, yeah. Yeah, but it was shown to you in sort of a, a map of divination. Okay. You're, you're well aware of where you are, and that Lusk is the nearest town. Some of these smart people might know where we are, but yeah. I don't know. You should know, unless your intelligence is five. <laughs> <laughs> but she's asking, you know, do, do you know where the nearest town is? Well, yeah, we guess it's Luskin. Are we Are we in the, the Lurkwood? I saw some trees and forests outside when they pulled us through. Uh, I believe so, yes. I believe we are. Um, and is the way clear out? Relatively. It's not entirely clear. You have some There's staircases some you will likely have some trouble with. Um well, be careful, but is there any do any of you have a spare weapon? Uh there's no creatures that I've know of, so well nothing we've intentionally left alive, so uh you should be okay, but if you really need a weapon then here take this little dagger. She points to the two guards on the floor behind you. I just you. kind of point to the weapons on the floor next to the guys we just killed. Can we take those swords? Ah, yeah, I yeah, that's, that, yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't taken them yet. They, uh, they grab the two swords. Um, they also yep. lift up a pouch of gold from each one of the guards and says, "Here, guys, thank you so much." And they toss them towards Wolfgang. The pouches of gold. Um, oh, fantastic. Thank I, you. Uh, if if we happen to see you in Luskin at some point, can I take your name? At Wolfgang. Uh, I am Wolfgang. Wolfgang, thank you so much, kind warrior. Um, if we see you, I, I promise you the greatest of rewards. My people will reward you oh, so much for and our. I wink at her. For our. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, for your generosity. Um, oh. we'll we'll be at the host tower of the arcane. Uh, we have some friends there. Um, I, I can't believe we. Saw I that. also thank have so a much. tower I'd like to show you. Hey, oh my hey. God. Get it, boy! Oh my. And she uh, oh. sort of takes her sister and they, they <laughs> boom, uh, back through the door. So. I did not think I was going to take your sister gesture. <laughs> Why would she take her like this? You know? Because I would also like to take her sister. <laughs> She's holding her up. Um, yeah. They, uh, they sort of depart <laughs> through door seven. Vivian, hide your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, what's that last bit? They've, they've departed through door seven. They've all right. through two and one. Okay, so Wolfgang, what's in the pouch? Pouches. Well, I don't know. I can't count that high, and I give it to Kalefi. Okay, how many coins do we have in these pouches? Fifty-five gold in each. Fifty-five gold in each. Okay, uh, everybody take twenty-two gold. Quit math. But I'm getting rich. Rich as heck. So, uh, um, you are now so standing what... in the doorway of six and seven, yes? Yeah, what's in room six apart from no, leather? Absolutely no. nothing. Nothing. Okay. They were chained in what appears to be an empty room for holding. Okay. So, are there chains in here, like attached no, to the nothing. wall? Nothing, that's why they were roped. Okay. The door was closed and obviously guarded. Shall we uh, go back to the um, first room where we came up the stairs to, or...? 
Well, so I don't have any other room, ideas. What the room that Nazim went into was that. I was gonna say I'd like to go back to that kitchen thing and look for some snacks, because that's what I wanted to do originally. But <laughs> we had to go save some it, people. Nazim uh, explored the room quite carefully. There was one empty barrel, one meat cleaver, uh, one chopping board, one stove, one empty saucer. Nothing I'm else. still angrily going through every cabinet, doing that thing you there do. There are no really cabinets, hungry. but There's if you want to, if you house. want to fumble I around the table. Cool. Did I know? Can I be it? healing people during this time? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, you may cast two heal. Okay, let's. let's... Uh, Nazim, what did you ask? Did I, did I not see where is that? Is that a door I see? You definitely saw the, the door. Kitchen? Okay, yeah, I also saw the door. Okay. Twenty-four heal on who? Uh, didn't I heal William? Hale uh, William's full health. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah need I'm, I'm fine. I'm full HP. Uh, so Nazim, and then your second heal. Uh... I'm gonna your brother. I'm going to click it, this one, or... Mine's not updating. Why is it not updating? You'd have to refresh each time. Quite frustrating. They never yeah. update. Wolfgang is the lowest. Lost sure. Go ahead. Excellent. Why, thank you, dear sister. Yes, you saw the door, Nazim. Would you like to return to it? Uh, yes. Uh, how much did I get healed for this? Um, read the first one or the second more. one? Use the first. 24. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's like all my health. Yeah. Perfect. She's quite good at that. You're welcome. Okay, so are, are, you we... Back, are we all in the kitchen? Do you all wish to be in the kitchen? Do yeah, I, I did. Follow the same. Yeah, I follow. Yeah, I'll follow. Luna? I suppose. Watch uh, out for the glass. You all step around the glass neatly. Uh, Nazim, you approach the door. Okay, so what sort of door am I looking at? A flimsy one. Okay, I'm going to run up to it and kick it. Yep, sure, it opens wide open, revealing a second flimsy wooden door in front of you. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I'm just going to try and open this one. I've got no momentum. It swings open uh, outwards, <laughs> and you are greeted by a tall, elven sorcerer. Um, he is wearing uh... sorcerer's robes, and he greets you, and he says, Adventurous didn't see you here. Um, I give you some gold. Will you just was over here? I can give no. you information. Who are you? Uh, they have me working in the kitchens here. My name is Envar Solomon. Um, I was captured a long, long time ago, and they have something very precious. To me. Um, the boss upstairs. His name is Bara. Um, he has me here, uh, sort of purifying and summoning food and drink. Um, I sleep <sighs> here. I live here. Uh, but my wife, she was taken away. They and Summon food and drink? Yeah. Are you hungry? Oh, so you ate that delicious ham that was downstairs. I did indeed. I did indeed. Oh, oh that was good. Thank you. He holds out a pouch. Gold. Do you forget I'm here? I can give you. A I can answer any questions you may have. What? Have I, you I seen have a Vivian question. And poster. Uh, yes, the, the, the girl. They took her upstairs uh, six days ago. And to the very top floor, Barra took her. They were with the horrible dark uh, sorcerer. I don't know his name. And the humongous dragon. Born. His name was Schenk, I believe. And um, they all took her upstairs. Uh, she was struggling wildly. Oh, that's that's my sister. <laughs> Why do we need to forget you were here if you're meant to be here? I don't want any trouble. I just want to stay and try and rescue my wife. I have rolled a 14 on an insight check to see if he is full of shit. He is 100% <laughs> full of shit. Okay. He does seem to be telling the truth to us. Well, why don't you come and help us? I have no wish to fight right now. I have seen the strength and might of those. You mighty adventurers might stand a chance. I will take my chance and sneak out of my game. Well, you don't have to fight. Put some food on the way, you know. Take your weapons. I will gladly give you some food. I have no weapon. Uh, what did you say? As long as you can take your what? Uh, you can take some wife. food if you wish. As long as you leave me he says as long as they can take his wife. Oh, as long as he oh. takes his wife, yes. He wants to oh, wait until yeah, that's what I thought I heard, but I didn't. Wait, is there a wife in here? His wife was captured, he said. Oh. Do you know where she was captured? They took her upstairs. Wow. So she's probably with Vivian. She is, uh, she's sort of this high. She, he sort of indicates five foot. Um, she's an elf. Uh, she, she's beautiful with the darkest of red hair. Um, sort of this What's leg. her name? Uh, her name is Rosa. Do you have a poster of her? I do not. Oh. 
That's going to make finding her a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, yeah uh, right. she should be the only five foot redhead beautiful elven woman you encounter. I would imagine. Can, I, uh, yeah. can you make okay. a poster? Yeah, I was going to say. Can I attempt a performance check to make a poster of what he describes? Sure. Well, this is a plus fucking eleven to this, by the way. You really want to do Uh, twenty-three. Yeah, you draw a literally stunning impossible. image of a, a red-headed elven maiden and hold it like this. Her. Yes, she looks very like her. Uh, she has purple eyes, however. Wow, we've only got one of those ones. Maybe you should keep that one safe, Luna. I can make a couple, but yeah. Listen, okay. we have a nigh infinite supply of Vivian posters. If you I've find... gone through like 20 of them. If you find my <laughs> yeah, wife, will you, will, you just, will you just tell her I'm here and I'll find my way out and see her to save me? Um, sure. Yeah, I we'll guess. tell her you left her here. <laughs> no, we will not. We will tell her to get okay, out and we'll help her okay, the best we can. I can't, I can't work. <laughs> we will do what we can to help her. I look over at William. Yes, I am. I love William. Kind of confused looking. Yes, Wolfgang, you are not a woman. Oh, thank you. You have... You were just talking about your tower. How do you not know this? Wolfgang. I live in a tower. I got it. I got it. Wolfgang, what if I put an M on you so you can never forget again? But what if it changes? What if I do a handstand? That Am I a... Does it bother you? <laughs> yeah. Is that how this works? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's set oh. to M for Wumbo when it should be set to W for Wumbo? Oh. <laughs> As you look around, he has a small clothes closet and a bed. Oh, shit. Uh, he, uh, Does his bed have a mattress? Did you take the pouch? Okay. Hold. No, not a chance. I don't so care about such things. He's still extending it towards you. Well, I kind of just look at it and Grab it and jingle it. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy? Heavy, heavy. Are you sure you'll be fine without this? No use for them anymore. Oh, that's strange. Okay. I give it to one of the people in my party who looks like they know how to count. That looks like the lefty. <laughs> you, you, you have. Uh, okay, you have how much? I don't know. William might know how to count. How much? Like 1,500. One thousand five hundred. Okay, three hundred each to each person. Let's divvy that out. Quick math. I'm giving you five right. Yeah, hey, it's awful convenient. <laughs> five or three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Um, Luna's short, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I crouch down to Luna so that way I try and cast Thaumaturgy and change my eyes so they're cross-eyed. <laughs> and I say, Luna, are you still mad at me? I'm gonna slap him in the face. And I slap her back. I'm gonna walk over to them, grab them each by the collar and hold them at arm's reach. Guys, stop fighting! Came in... Look down on right? me! Listen, he's a little bit special, okay? But, like, it's no no reason to be mean to him. Bitch, I will crown of manis you right here, right now. Get the fuck off of me. Don't be rude. You just called me special. You I was trying special. to apologize to Luna, and she slapped me. By demeaning me with your eyes, huh? No, Do I was trying to make you laugh. Why would that make me laugh? <laughs> Why does painting smiley faces on people make you laugh? How the fuck did I know? <laughs> smiley faces aren't what makes me laugh. All your reactions to them are what make me laugh. And well, painting brings me, me joy. Right. You could have just apologized normally. And you could have not slapped me. I guess no. we're both in oh, the wrong. Def I definitely needed to slap you for that. No, you definitely didn't. And I slap her back. Again? 
Yeah, yeah this is number two. <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. And Bar Solomon turns to Kalefi and Azim and says, Is this normal for your group? How did you get this yeah. far? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how he slapped me a second time when you're in between I, us. I, like okay. I just try to end like, it. Back and forth. Yeah, I just Honestly, try to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is this is this is this is not normal even for this band of idiots. And um, we were, we were I fine. honestly don't know oh, how we, we got the start. Hold on, oh, no, William, please. Sorry, Cleffy, can you repeat, sir? Uh, this isn't usual even for our band of idiots. I don't. I honestly don't know how the hell we got this far, but you know, we managed. Uh, even could, with uh, these lunatics. Remove this chaos from my bedroom. I really could do with it. Of course, of course. Let's let, let's go, people. Let's let's go. I said there. William. Especially you, down. Luna and, and William. Are you cell phone? Pack it the fuck in. I didn't do anything. I was just standing here. Both. Aleffy, south or north? Uh, let's go let's go south out the door. Okay. It's a flimsy wooden door. Are you opening it? Yes, regularly opening. I'm not kicking the fucking thing in. In, I'm front, of you, in front of you is a small path to the left and a long wooden wall. Uh your sort of divider. Um extending all down the corridor. Fair to say that you could see the door. Um, the room. Uh, Let's see what this next doorway does, yeah, shall we? Before we decide to kill each other. I'll follow. Now, what are you doing with the door? Uh, briefly describe the door for me as I see it. It is an iron portal, uh, triangular at the top, now arching out the doorway. It is a double door. Uh. Okay, uh, this looks like it might be a little bit suspicious. Nazim, I'm going to signal to you. Okay, I know what that means. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm doing all the investigating, by the way. I've only got plus one. Because you're the one who can work out what a trap is. Okay, all right, so I'm going to investigate the door. Uh, ten. Yep, um, it's fair to say that you can see the door is unlocked. Um, you can also see a small wire or handle. Okay, I'm going to attempt to cut the wire. I'm looking, there's something in my thieves' tools, maybe, Sharp? Yeah, I'll go for that. Or a dagger. <laughs> yeah, just a sharp dagger would be the trick. <laughs> dagger is it. Okay, but the thing is, if I put any <coughs> tension on the wire, it might cause it to activate. Uh, mm. No, no, this is the sort of wire that's hooked over the handle. You, you're, you're aware as a thief that cutting it will disable said trick. Okay, and then I'd like, just like to uh, cut the wire a bit. Please. Make a what? Light of hand check. Uh, 28, not 20. Uh, as the uh, wire is cut, a small dart sort of comes outwards, but you're able to catch it nimbly in your hand. Um, and stop it from hitting you. And the door is now open. Ooh, okay. I, will uh, look. Push. I would like to look on the other side, away from the door, for a dartboard. And you find one wooden spider. Okay, I hold on to the dirt. Hey, Luna, could you draw a circle on this wall for me? Uh, sure. I'll go draw I'm a circle. Just, I'm going to play darts with one dart by myself. Okay. Roll to hit. Okay. Uh, it's a thrown weapon, so that's probably a dex. So that's going to be a 13. Uh, Luna, make a dex save. What? Why? I he's throwing a dart in... at your head. Yeah, no, I am not throwing it while he's there. Oh, he okay. asked me to paint something on the wall. You did then what? move, correct? Yes. Okay, yeah. well, we'll leave it to it. He throws it miles Good wide of the Lord, circle. Lord, James. I thought you were stood in front of the circle. I thought maybe you might, <laughs> oh, you might have got a thirteen, taking you in the back of the head. Um, no, I, dude. thirteen wouldn't even hit his armor class. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I'm well aware of that. Um, and Nazim, you opened the door. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I'm gonna slowly open it though. Okay, in front of you, you see a large table with two tables either side. This is clearly an alchemist's study. There are potions, there are bubbling, smoking bottles, thick, viscous liquids uh, in beakers lying around the, uh, the table. On the right hand table are piles of herbs. Um, and some I like the idea of this room. Potions. Okay, I am going to go and investigate the pile of herbs. Okay. Um. I have a horribleism kit, I'm assuming that's useful for something. Make an intelligence. Uh, no. Make a nature check for me. Wait, what? Okay. 
Uh, 12. Uh, you identify some of the basic herbs, uh, ginger, cardamom, nightshade. Um, a couple of herbs are things you've never seen before. One with this uh, sort of vibrant purple leaves um, and one green sprig that you are unaware of. The other three That's a life ginger, sprig. I've seen that before. Nightshade. <laughs> Would you uh, would you like me to take another look at those and uh, see if, see about the ones that you are unfamiliar with? Uh, by all means. May I? Yep. Nature check, check again. Yep. That is a sixteen. Uh, the green sprig in your hand is a leaf of the fairy. The purple flower you do not know it. Okay, so I don't know what that what that big purple one is, but this. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, am I able to do a uh, little bit of an inventory check of the rest of this room? Uh, yep, so on your left-hand table are what appears to be completed potions, and in the center table are lots of smoking bubble, smoking bottles, bubbling potions, and thick viscous liquids. And... Okay, so let's take a look at the already completed potions for the time being. And yeah, there are three potions on the table. Do any of these potions look familiar? Um, one is definitely a hit. It's a great issue. Okay, I will um, take this great healing potion real quick. Okay, one is a potion full of a silver glistening liquid, and the other is a green potion. Why, Heather? <laughs> <laughs> so, one potion of a silvery liquid and one green potion. Uh, okay, now the, now the most important question, this green potion, is: does it appear to be poison? All of these okay. look like healthy people. Okay, and I am unfamiliar. I would not be familiar with what either of these would be at all. Make an arcana check. Okay, let's go for that then. That one. Yeah, you you are unfamiliar. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Random unidentified potions. Anyone? Ooh, I Have hear to random and unidentified. Around? I'd like to walk into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah. I broke the dart. Um, yeah, you're not breaking these potions. So one potion is silvery, viscous liquid that is glistening, and one of sort of a vibrant verdant green. I think it's fair to say that Vivian, uh, who can see this green potion, uh, is probably more likely to know that the green potion is a potion of growth. Totally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Silver potion, however, is potion of growth. Ear, 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 ear. You say? Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, me too. Um, no, I've got, I've got an idea, an idea, idea. Uh, we have a halfling. Want to make Naveen, Naveen, <laughs> Naveen, 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 Naveen a real person? <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe a real you one. Oh this with my me. goodness. Yep. Yeah, okay, Nazim, here's your chance to be big and strong. I have this uh, potion of growth. I look very disappointed. There's a potion of uh, growth. I am going to decline this potion just out of spite. Are you pocketing it, drinking it, or just handing it back? I'm, I'm handing it back. I want to okay. be big and strong. Okay, there you go, Wolfgang. Have fun. Oh, Don't drink it yet. I, is this I some feel... Alice in Wonderland bullshit? I and feel still very disrespected that you're giving me a potion to make me a real person. Okay, so the silvery thing then. Uh, uh, am I able to sort of tilt the bottle over slightly as I uncork it and dribble a tiny bit on my finger and sort of see if it has any immediate impacts? Make a constitution save. Constitution save, uh, got you. That's a 14. Okay, uh, it, it is burning a small hole in your finger. You take two points of fire damage uh, after your resistance, um, and write your decision immediately. Okay, well, I'll just immediately try to wipe this off my fingers on the nearest um, fabric-y thing that isn't attached to me, and uh, cork this thing straight up. Uh, this stuff is, it... is burning, people. This, this stuff is kind of fiery. Uh, I see it. No, I I'm not smell giving... It. I'm not giving you this, no. This is a dangerous move, even for you. Um, huh. 
Yeah, I'm going to pocket this for the time being and um, hope Nobody that... Nobody wants to identify it first. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, William, do you, do you want to give this a whirl? I'm not in the room. Oh, you're okay. not? You're not in the room. Okay. I'm not in the room. I am um, stood at, like outside next to the door, back against the wall. Shaking and... your head at my broken dart. <laughs> okay, then I'll immediately, I'll immediately stroll straight out the room, uh, thoroughly no. unimpressed at the fact that I've got yeah, smoldering okay. fingers. Uh, no on the other side. Um, yep. And I'm using uh, Billy, <laughs> the bat. Um, <laughs> I'm using to see and hear through him to see what's round the corner where the... You have one long stone corridor, torch sconces either side. If he was to go round the wooden barriers, he would find exactly the same on the other side. It is a long, abandoned corridor. Okay, um, he like flutters back and I wake back up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, William. Uh, any idea what this thing is? It burns pretty badly. Uh, I'll oh, hand I'm you this potion and see what you can. That you don't drink. Oh yeah, I'm not drinking it. Fuck that, this thing burned my fingers. I'm not happy with that. So, uh, does this look familiar to you? Seen, it, seen this before ever in your travels? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Uh, no, you both, I, both I, Luna I, and I, uh, William have identified, by the way. Uh, try I mean, yeah. throwing it in an enemy. Yeah, I've apparently yeah. forgotten the spell identify in this whole scenario. I mean, yeah, but I, using an identify spell on a potion, really? Really? I mean, if you really want to, Luna. I, I don't even know you have this potion, so. I have well, been okay, so with William as well. I'm gesturing to you and saying something. Were you actually talking directly to Luna at that point? Uh, yeah, just gesturing, <coughs> gesturing to Luna as well, yeah, like... You don't want to use the wand? No. Oh. Okay. Listen, I know how to identify it. You guys are just afraid of the consequences. I guess I'll cast Identify on it, since we don't want to use the wand, so I don't waste the spell slot. Why, would I, why would I help you out? Is a potion of storm giant strength. Oh, that is a Wolfgang potion for sure. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, it, just, okay. it just boosts your strength. It doesn't give you an additional modifier. Gotcha. Then it could turn someone in. There could be two of me running around. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> From his sister as well. <laughs> Brutal. It could be Vivian when she's drunk. <laughs> She's quite mighty. Oh no. Okay, um, on the... Also, Mr. William, uh, you wouldn't have been helping me out. You would have been helping him out. I Not sure why you're that. taking your frustrations out with me on everyone else. Sorry, is no, anybody still in room five? You asked me to five? use the wand, and I'm telling you no. Is anybody still in room five? I'm me. probably still in here. Is he in room? Um. As you are sort of standing there, you can see sort of on the wall a book is reading itself. Uh, guys, I'm too thick for this shit coming in. Wait, is it reading okay. itself out Let's loud? Or is it just no, like the pages, pages are turning in front of you. Now that's a good book right there. It's what, getting which, which language I don't need to try and look at it. Um, it, It's written in Elvish. Okay, guys, I don't understand what the fuck this is saying. Help me. Uh, I walk into the room, and is is there anything that can like? You can reach it. You can reach it. Um. Okay. Well, then. some people can. <laughs> I asked. Uh, yeah, if you can reach it for me. Okay, cool. I grab it. Hey, um, as you are you closing the book or are you just reading? Reading. Hey, yeah, it, it reads itself out to you. I am the Tome of Knowledge. Read me whether you understand me or not. Discover internal powers you previously did not. Boom. Read it. That sounds like a Nazim book. Say no more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading it. Hey. Um, you have... This will take you half an hour to read. Yes? I've got nowhere to go. Hey, you level up. <laughs> anybody else like to read the book? Uh, yeah, you want to read as well. 
Can we okay. sit around just, in a kumbaya yeah. circle and read it out loud and... <laughs> <laughs> I could have someone read me the book. It, regardless of <laughs> the your book will read it to you. Um, if you sit around in a circle with this book, you will all level up. Level. Okay, I, I turn around and throw Six. it to Kalefi. Uh, that's the next level, is it not? This many here. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. thank you it very much. Like okay. Here you go, enjoy. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's read this thing. Uh. You are all level 6. I'm just going to make a check here. How are we doing for time, guys? We I'd appreciate if we call it Perfect, it's fine. fine. This is a good time to call it, assuming you do not want to explore backwards, and instead would like to remain in the room having a short rest. So, it may have taken William half an hour to read this book that reads itself. It probably took me a good hour and a half. Okay. Even with so, a self-reading book. Well, I mean, would you like to remain with book and rest? And so, Disa, uh, cold resistance, is, that, is this wearing off by next point? Oh, long the rest gone, long long gone. Okay. Right, so we're out. leveling up and calling it, right? Mm-hmm. That's okay. okay with you guys. Um, so, for those of you who yeah. do not know uh, or have not seen the previous episodes, you may catch the previous episodes on YouTube. I believe our one shots go live on Mondays on the YouTube, and the D and D sessions will go up on the Friday. Um, thank you so much, guys, for playing along. I hope you had fun.